hear me? How about that? Uh, I don't know. How about now? Audio input capture. Is that better? Oh, there we go. Yay! Oh, God. I, oh, it's a stress. Oh, I'm so anxious. Because... Let me wait. Let, let me just... Because I don't know how to fix these problems. And there's like two, 300 people. Um, we can hear you, but this doesn't sound like Starfield. No, it's not Starfield. Right, okay. And let's uh, balance the audio with the game. This is obviously quite loud. So... I might need to turn that down. What do you think? How do we feel? I mean, that's pretty loud. Yes, this is the spirit of New Vegas. Things aren't working. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to hear the game. It's stopped now, but it was on for a bit. Turn it up! Sounds good to me. Da, 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 da. Right, I've turned it down a bit because it's actually too loud for me. <sighs> See, what you might not know about me is I am an extraordinarily anxious person. So when this starts and the sound doesn't work, I'm like, oh, good, my life is over. Uh, so in my videos, I may seem super confident, but I'm just plugging in my controller. Because I use a controller. I don't use the mouse and keyboard because, you know, fuck you. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's start a new game. Um, let me just move this over so I can see everything that's going on. Okay. Thank you. Oh, God, it's all happening. Thank you for becoming a member for 28 months, Tom. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> I'm sorry that I don't stream. Sound is fixed, guys. Calm down. Exactly. I need to. This is more for me. I need to calm down. This is a CBD uh, drink that's supposed to help you to relax. Uh, not a sponsor, hashtag, but uh, I don't feel very calm. <sighs> I haven't done this in quite a long time. Uh, look, I, I always shake, but as you can probably see, like, I am very nervous. <laughs> it's just, I'm sure, hopefully, adorable to you rather than just really uh, upsetting. But I will calm down. Start a new game. Well, let's make sure the audio is fine. So this is what we've got so far. Does the game need to go up or down, or do I need to go up or down? Let me give you a minute to answer me. I can't do both at the same time, I don't think. Your mic is louder than... A minute, let me move this over. Just don't worry. <laughs> See, I, I w usually I would just hide this, but I'm just going to tell you all. Um, game up, you down. Okay. Let me just, I'm just going to have to turn me down because I can't turn the game up any more than it already is. Um, so I've turned myself down. I've turned the game up as much as I can. Let's see. Maybe just turn up your headphones. I don't know. Oh my God, there's 570 people here. I didn't need to see that either. Oh God, right. So we're going <laughs> to... Let me just start a little bit and see how you guys get on with the audio here. Oh, my cat's in the background. Oh no, I already said, but just so we can... You can see she's sleeping on the marimba, which is a giant xylophone, and this is where she likes to sleep. I'm not allowed to put drinks on that. It's Emma's. But she allows the cat to sleep on it, so we see who she loves the most. So here is our FMV opening. Let me just make sure that everyone's happy. What do we think about the sound? Da -da -da, favorite fallout, kitty cat. You up a bit. Oh, I can turn the microphone up, if that helps. I can actually do that, so I've turned me up a bit. Blue moon. My mic is peaking a bit. Okay. Well, people are saying turn it up. Or wait, let me. <laughs> people are saying turn the mic up, but I'm also peaking. I'm not sure how to how to deal with that. I need to turn up the game audio. All right. Enjoy the thing. Like. I'm getting so much information about this. Turn up a bit and the mic a bit lower. Okay, so I can keep turning the mic down. So this is Matthew McConaughey, if anyone didn't know. Now it's Matthew Perry. I'm just being really funny. War. Maybe Paul about the volume. War never changes. <laughs> when atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across Mike the Mike too low. What if I just shout a bit? Societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. We'll get this, don't worry. I'm just... As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Just Republic, shout a bit. I'm speaking as not... Oh, when you speak too close, it's peaking and distorting. Okay, let me move it. 
a little bit <laughs> further away. As the you Republic just my grew, hand back. so did its needs. Scouts <laughs> spread east, seeking territory and wealth. In the it dry, seems to be a good balance now. I just, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so the game's beginning. Everyone knows what was going on, but basically, the city untouched. Uh, we're just going to skip it because we've already seen it all before. Uh oh, I think the game's crashed. <laughs> I'll explain as we go. Basically, I've been shot in the head as a courier developing, uh, de delivering a platinum chip to um, Mr. House, who we're going to go visit. Well, we won't get to him in this stream, obviously. Good balance with the sound. Great, I didn't do anything, so fuck knows why that is. Oh, the game's crashed. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> See, good stuff. <laughs> Yay, the caravan pack. We all love that, right? Caravan pack. I did a thing like this. See, I've already done... See, I'm reviewing this game, but I've already done a lot of the jokes relating to this. How, like, you just get given bam, bam, bam. Because when I did my Fallout New Vegas VR review, obviously, I was just like, okay. Oh, I thought it was going to keep going and I was going to do a bit, but it's over. Tribal raiding armor. Ten throwing spears. Oh, <laughs> I can already... Easy. Throwing spears are incredibly You're overrated. A couple of days Overpowered, now. I mean. Why don't you just relax a sec? Get your bear. Oh, 630 people watching. Don't fart. Thanks for... Anyway, I'm not even... Re uh, thanks for joining, JK Plays. I haven't streamed in a long time. Right, my name. Chad. We're going to be playing... Oh, I can't do capital letters for this. Hello, I'm Chad. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I've always wanted I'm to look up if there was... He would ever give a well, different response than that. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework. But you better tell me if I left in at the Well, I don't really this is I'm playing this for the purposes of reviewing it, but I don't really know what I'm going to do with my I character. I think I'm just going to stick with something um, casual. I always play as a woman, why not? Um, I'll just go Caucasian for now. I don't Usually when people stream, they spend a few hours setting up a character. We're not doing that. We're going to just we're just going to get in because this is the last thing we all need. There we go. We're, we're cosplaying as my wife, Emma, because she's slightly blonde, and that's about it, really. Although, actually, if you've seen her recently, her hair is... She's going to love that I'm playing as Let's make her old. So, wait, my name is Chad, and I'm playing as a woman. Ah, oh, never mind. Uh, I need to... Wait a minute. Let me move things around, because I can't see the chat properly. There we go. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that matters. Let's move you down. So I'm wearing an oversized T-shirt, because it's too hot in the UK. I have the AC unit, which I've turned off for your benefit. It's already starting to get really, really hot. I'm really worried. <laughs> right, this is fine. Well, no, or should we ra let's randomize. Yes, randomize your head. I thought you'd never ask. Uh, 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 I don't feel like much is changing. We'll get some real thin heads if we randomize it, don't we? I said I wasn't going to do this for long. We're going to be here for the rest of the day. And right, I'm gonna shut my eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, she's got big cheeks. <laughs> I'm, a ch I'm a chipmunk. Cool, done. I was gonna say we're playing as Emma, so we're gonna give her red hair. Emma's got red hair at the moment. There you go. Ah, oh, it's the spitting image of my wife. Really? <laughs> so she's not watching this somewhere. Are you sure you want to be this character? Not really, but we're gonna go for it. Okay. No sense. Can you please? Oh, turn on the AC and put the mic in front of it. Streamers I love to turn off the AC until on. five minutes after the stream starts. I can do this. I can keep it on. Can yeah. you please play Minecraft? Why don't you walk down to no, just watch my review of it. It's fine. I'm, I mean, I may. Because I, it was like how I did a, I reviewed Skyrim VR and then I reviewed Skyrim and everyone's like, haven't you already done this? And I'm like, well, no. I mean, I barely talked about Skyrim. I'm just going to try and leave. Okay, so. Let's, let's do something. Would you mind? I'm trying to use it. Do Legion run, please. Yeah, we can do evil. I want to. I'm going to put on Wacky Wasteland as well because I've never done it. Subtitles, got you. Sorry. Thank you for asking. Uh, now is the million dollar question. Is it in display or audio? It's not in audio. Great. So it's in, <laughs> it's in there you go, general subtitles. <laughs> yeah, you go. You can start an argument in the chat now. Should it be in audio or display? Any news on a new video? So I've just finished. Uh, a nightmare review, which is done. It's done. Uh, it's a full 15-minute nightmare review. I'm not. I'm not allowed to say what it is of, and I'm not allowed to say when I'm releasing it. It's coming, but it's not coming out towards the end of the year. And you know what's really depressing is uh, 
reviewing an entire game, spending two months on it, filming, costumes, actors, cinematographers, writing, editing, production of everything, and then not releasing it. Oh, it really hurts. So it's just sitting on my hard drive, ready to go, and I'm not really, I'm sending it to all my friends so that they can tell me what they think because I've worked so hard on it. But it's coming out towards the end of the year as part of like a big secret thing. So that's what I've been doing. So this game, I'm only just starting to review because I was busy reviewing another game. So I think a nice high perception because I like being like a, so we're playing as evil, wacky wasteland. So wait a minute, I'm not, oh, points to go, right. Okay, I don't want to be too strong because I want to like waste points in that. We're going to go decent perception, endurance. Let's go, let's make ourselves a bit hardy. I'm going to remove charisma points. I remember reading somewhere that you don't need any. So we're just going to go with two. Barter speech, companion, and nerve. We'll just go with that. Oh, it's getting hot in here now. Do I look hot? I feel hot. Right, let me just move. Hide the... I'm not... I'm just checking. You're getting 1080p. Good, people are getting 1080p. Cool. I'm the hottest. I am... <laughs> I'm a hot man. Hot mess. Okay, intelligence. I like a nice, smart character. So we get lots of... I'd like to cosplay as a scientist. Uh, agility and luck. There we go. You really don't need any charisma points, even if you want to be good at speech. What, we're going for zero? Low intelligence, max luck. No, 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 no. We want, we want to see, see things in this game. I think just like an average player with high intellect and high uh, perception is fine. All right, well, what do you think of this? I don't think you're going to like this. <laughs> I bet you're going to be like, we can't hear it, but I don't know. It's pretty loud. You're going to watch Luna jump. She gets really scared. Oh, she didn't react at all. Come on, Luna. I really would like this to be the view in which you can see the stream so that you can watch her, but I'm having a lot of trouble getting us both in. So I think you're a bit stuck with just me. And this very old-looking British photograph. It me. <laughs> what do we think? This game is so much better than Starfield. This game is so much better than all games, except for maybe Resident Evil 4. Um, very faint. Rotate the whole desk. I mean, I can... I mean, we could... Tr I'm using an ultra-wide monitor, so stuff like this is quite difficult. Well, it's fine. There we go. How's that? Are we happy with this? So you can see my hair blowing in the breeze now. How are we feeling? <laughs> are we feeling good? <laughs> okay, we're done. Uh, I should have just gone to here. So, let's go in one charisma, because we don't want to waste things. Uh, let's specialize in intellect. No, you never go up to nine, because you can always up. I'm convinced and convincing my friends that you're a real-life Astorian, Astarion from Baldur's Gate 3. I haven't played it yet, so I'm a bit out of the loop, especially with more white silver hair. Yeah, I need to dye it again. <laughs> okay. Let's be high perception. Why not? High intellect, high perception. So uh, a smart sharpshooter is usually what I like to do, just because it's, it's really fun. Uh, must be some frontal lobe damage. Oh, no. Why? What does that mean? What have I done wrong? I'm nuts, yeah. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? Might want to turn up the mic and game audio. No, I'm not, I'm not going to put this on. I feel like it's a bit much having that on. I can cope without it, don't worry. I feel like it's a bit unfair to make you listen to it. Okay, so uh, how are we doing with audio? I'm just going to check again. Just finished Resident Evil. Resident, Resident Evil? <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2 was not ready for that masterpiece. Oh, lucky you. Must be in nice enjoying games because I hate all of them. It's important to right, be relaxed down. for this next test. I'm not relaxed. I'm in a stranger's home in my pants. All right. The game is slightly quiet. See, I can't... I, I'm afraid I just can't turn it up anymore. I don't understand why it's so bad. I'll try one more time to make it louder. Oh, no, there we go. I think this is going to deafen me, though. But, okay, I've turned All it right. up. I'm going to say a word. Is that, is that too loud? I want to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. On right, yeah, that's fine. That's good. That's better. Okay, dog. Um, right. We're a sharpshooting, intelligent person, so we're going to be obviously thinking out of the box because we're really smart. We've got so many trains of thought. Train, trains of thought. Genius. House. House. Um, I'm really smart, so investment. Night. Uh, 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 oh yeah, I want to be stealthy, so let's go shroud. Bandit. Bandit. Uh, <laughs> I'm not rushing. Reasonable. No, let's see. Um, Bribe. Light. See, I assume beam will give you, like, better laser skills. Dark will give you, like, better stealth. Here I am over, uh, over reading things. 
Mother. Bitch. I mean, what? Excuse me. Regret. <laughs> okay. Now I got a few statements. I get on very well with my mother. I don't know if that, <laughs> that comes across. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Good. People seem to be okay with things. Good. Uh, conflict just ain't in my nature. Well, given what game we're playing, strongly disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. With a charisma of zero. Now, this is a double negative, so I get really confused with these. I ain't known... <sighs> I ain't known to relying... I ain't... I am not prone... To relying on others. Agree. There you go. I'm always fixing to be. Now we're going to be uh, stealthy. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I mean, I think this does things. No opinion to everything. <laughs> I think this does do stuff. Um, what did he ask me? Fire and rocks. I love fire and rocks. No, but he dislikes fire and stone. And stone. So let's go strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Now we're going to be snipey, snipey snipes in the in the background. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. If I, there's a <laughs> I want to reference Peep Show, but the language is too much for me to use on this. On this. <laughs> so I'm not allowed to, sorry. If, if we were streaming on Patreon, I could, I could be vulgar, but if you, there's an episode of Peep Show where um, Mark takes one of these tests and he just refers to everything as a vagina, but he uses a very coarse language that I'm not going to use. So this is obviously an explosion. There you go. Okay. How this about is like this a, one? a cavern with like a god figure at the front. Uh, I'm too embarrassed. I think that's the closest that we can go. Or a ship at sea. That's that's like a like an, an ocean that we're we're going through. Last one. Two people clapping. Oh. Uh, well, one person. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems... Oh right. my god, someone just gave me 500 Hong Kong dollars. I'm rich. I might as well end the stream now. I don't know what the conversion rate is, but thank you so much. I don't know who did that because I've missed it. Let me try and find out so I can actually thank the person. I don't know. I don't seem to be able to leave this game, so I'll just have to try and avoid more... Uh, avoid missing things in the future. Right, energy weapons. That wasn't really what I was going for, so let's get rid of that. <laughs> I wanted guns, science, and let's go with speech. Because it's a Fallout game, obviously, so you don't wanna you don't wanna miss that. This is not a modded playthrough. I was gonna mod it, but I ran out of time. Uh, so you know <laughs> Are we all enjoying Luna? Don't forget that she's there. Luna Luna She's not gonna respond. Luna is famously very unfriendly, so I usually, I can pick up Sid and bring him over in old streams, but Luna won't allow that to happen. She kicks me if you pick her up, so we're not allowed to touch to pick her up. <laughs> cool, done. Right, let's go. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical. Can I always, do you know how many Just people are watching this? We need to move. It ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Ooh, okay. Never mind. This is important. So we're going to go Wild Wasteland, obviously. And let's just go with someone who can do some sniping. So guns and energy weapons, you fire more slowly but more accurate. That seems like a good one. I know what most of these are. So claustrophobia, that's me. I occasionally, uh, when I'm sitting at home alone, will imagine getting... There's a scene in a show that I watched once where a person was locked inside a torpedo tube that you put torpedoes in so they put someone inside and locked it everyone will know what it's called the chat will start saying i can't remember what it was called and i sometimes when i'm alone and having quiet time will accidentally imagine myself in that situation and that is what it looks like and it's just the scariest thing i can think of try it yourself just imagine being locked and you'll never be able to leave and you're in a space that's too small i don't want to trigger anyone though I just think, what happens to the human brain in that situation? Because you can't just die, but it feel, I feel like I would just immediately, something would swap in my brain and I would die. Welcome to this fun stream, everyone. Right, so I think we're going to go with um, this one because I want to be more accurate. It sounds a bit shitty, but I don't know if that's too bad. None of these other ones seem to be involved with that. So let's go with that. Done. So I don't know what Wild Wasteland does. All I'm quite right. excited. I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. The fear stream, I think so. Ah, I'm naked still. Why not put some clothes? 
right, we're gonna steal everything this man owns. It's all mine. So I'm sure the million dollar question is, what do I think of Starfield? And the answer is, I've played about five hours of it and I currently have no opinion. I'm honestly a little bit stunned sometimes by how uh, bad it seems to be, but I feel like I just need to continue playing it and <laughs> things will get better. <laughs> I recently did a tweet where I posted a video of something that happened and it was just like, I was just like, what is going on? I, I killed I killed one of my companion's dads and he was like, I can't believe you did that, but you know, I'm willing to overlook it since you're a part of Constellation. And then he started going in and out of the same door over and over for about 10 minutes. And then uh, accosted me and said, I just wanted you to know that I'm a really big fan of you and I really like you. And then he gave me some aluminium. It was a very strange experience. I'm like, this doesn't even happen in Skyrim. <laughs> I can't fix it. Just taking everything this man. Can I? Oh, I don't have my pit boy yet, so I can't put the light on. Blood pack. Machine. Hello. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. Here, I want to give you everything I, I own. And... Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing. Yep, 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 yep. yep. All right. He's given me a pip boy. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. You shouldn't have gone through my stuff. Um... I think it's okay that he went through my stuff in this instance. Uh, don't mention it. Thank you, Cody That's what T. I'm here for. Your legend. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. Gotcha. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Uh, we're not going to do hardcore because I don't know really I think that's a good idea so I in my humble opinion let me take a sip while I say this would say that this is the best opening in any video game ever possibly rivaling uh, uh, Bioshock right so we're about to just get all of the DLCs sure great yup Thanks. Amazing. Stupendous. There we go. Now, I don't know if I can get copyrighted in this for the radio. I'm pretty sure I can. I don't know how it really works, but the radio is currently not on, so it's okay. Extremely disagree. The first several hours is absolutely why I cannot get into New Vegas. Well, fuck you then. The gun runner's arsenal. Amazing. Fantastic. Well, the reason I think this is so good is because it perfectly introduces the game's mechanics one by one. But in like, it's kind of like how I was saying about, oh God, all right, great, amazing. <laughs> so this is Victor. I'll explain as we go why I think it's so good. But in, in shorthand, just so many of the game's mechanics are like tested. Like all of your skills are very relevant and the character you picked is very relevant in all of the sequences. And there are like, in this just this little opening, there are so many different outcomes, but it all happens quite organically. It's not just like in the outer worlds where it was very obvious you were making decisions that were going to change the outcome of things. In this, it just felt like, what am I going to do? Oh, I'll try this. Oh, I'll do this. Anyway, hello. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? So this is the guy that dug me out of the grave. Now, he may have some ulterior motives, which so him finding me might not be a huge coincidence, but we'll find out. We're not going to find out because that's like 12 hours from now, but it's fine. I was out for a stroll that night. When I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard, saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. I'm just gonna move backwards and move this over. I'm gonna unplug the mic. Hey, there we go. He's leaning back for comfort. Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't, Don't mention it. I'm always, I'm always ready to lend a help. I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. 
If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. So, Mr. Happy Trails! Mr. House, who owns these robots. I don't think we can see him just yet. If we can see. Where's the map? Or see where he lives just yet. Uh, I haven't played these games. Oh my god, I haven't played these games in a while. He's over there, so we can see where he lives. Oh, we just go up here. Let's have a look at the, the edge. Uh, Mr. House, who is the owner of these robots, is also the person who owns Robco, or at least invented Robco, who, who built all the robots, and that's how he got his millions, is voiced by Rene Obujevanomagom. Um, I've never been able to pronounce his second name, who passed away, unfortunately, a couple of years ago. There he is, so he lives in that place over there. I don't know, I'm assuming not everyone watching has played this game. So he lives in that tower. Um, and he's voiced by the same person who plays Odo. Uh, speaking of, he's very into these globes. So I'm going to pick up one of these globes for him for later. Rumor has it some collectors will play dearly for them. That guy who lives over there. He's right there. Um, he, voiced uh, he voiced Odo in uh, Deep Space Nine which is my favorite character in my favorite television program. And Mr. House is my favorite character in my favorite game. So it's just marvel at the interconnectedness of all things. It's one of my favorite facts about my current existence is that these two people are connected. Because I didn't realize they were connected for quite a long time. Even though I was fans of both characters, I never made the link that they were the same person. So we opened some graves. Ah, oh. let's play Ruined. Thank you, Charlie Davis, for joining my... Uh, Protest art here. Hello, are you, fo you, are you following me around? I'm not fucking scared of you. Take that. Next stop. Oh no! <laughs> I can't take him on with my fists. I mean, I have an enormous amount of stuff because I have all the DLCs, but I do feel like this is always unfair, so I kind of just drop everything and just make do with um, what I already have. It's a little bit, it's a bit unfair, I think. So I just keep my rifle. Oh wait, there's no way. <laughs> no, this is, might be a bit... Yeah, that's overpowered. I've, I've kept the wrong thing. <laughs> Let's just put that down. Uh, oh my god, something that drives me absolutely... Yeah, we're going to keep... Ooh, keep a sh well, let's just keep a pistol. Let's just keep it simple. Pick up the, pick up the pistol. So, one of my favorite things to do in these games is... Oh, I picked it up. How do I... One of my favorite things to do in these games... There we go. Maybe I haven't worked out how to do it yet is to pick up items and move them around. And in Starfield, say you wanna like put your guns all around your ship. As far as I know, there's no way to do this with them. I may be mistaken, but that I can't quite work how to do it. Um, you can pick up other items, so if you wanna like put items on your shelves and stuff, but they took out the ability to pick up and move guns. Which what I like to do in these games is like buy a house um, and fill it with guns. And they seem to have removed the ability to do that. Let's see if everyone could do it. See if you can see if anyone in the chat. Um, the old world warrior says you can do it, I think. Don't you just hold E while looking at them? I'm playing with my controller. Let me just show you. And it, since it's an Xbox exclusive, being able to do it with E is not entirely fair because most people playing the game are on Xbox. Uh, my brother is here. That's Adam Hamlin. So try not to bully him too hard. Do you like Starfield? Good question. So this is the grave that I was dug up from, but I don't have any uh, shovels yet, so I can't dig up any graves. I don't want to... Ooh. 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 I can't dig up any graves, even though I, am, I think you get some quite good stuff. I'm not sure if there's like a shovel like here somewhere. Welcome to the playthrough of <laughs> Pull Out New Vegas, where I walk around a grave site. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure an item here becomes important as well. Here I am just cheating. Um, anyway, we'll come back to that here. I don't know what the run button is. Maybe there isn't one. Oop, okay, never mind. There's a shovel at Good Springs Water Source. Thanks, Growl Mara. Growl Macaron. <laughs> Have you found any cigarette button? No, we'll do it later. Holding A should work. No, that's not doing anything. I'm pretty sure your agility increases your run speed slightly in this game, but it seems to be up for debate. Sorry, my nose has got some cat fur in it, I think. Huh? 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Starfield Metacritic user reviews have dropped like a stone. I think that's because of the PlayStation people just review bombing it because they're upset that they can't play it. So I wouldn't take that too seriously. Right, so we've got the general store. We're looking for... Who are we looking for? What are we doing? What's happening? Vests. 
Talk to Sunny Smiles. Uh, I really like Sunny Smiles because you can kill her dog. Just don't... Uh, don't, <laughs> don't quote me on that. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Uh, okay. Let's work out what we're doing. So, she's going to tell me about the town. Because I'm going to settle in here and live for a bit. So, what... Uh, uh, Prim? Prim is where I need to... I was supposed to go before dropping off my chip. Or to pick up the chip. No, he took the chip off me. So Prim is where I think I used to work or used to get my job. So I'm trying to get back there. Sure can. I've been to real life Prim. Amazing. Until it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster. And it has a roller south. coaster. Can't Great. Miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. I would say that let me just make sure everyone's happy. Do the chest hair route. I'm not <laughs> Is there any pros to killing her? Well, it feels good, but other than that. Um, that the way that this game runs is my favorite way to do any game in which there is basically a linear path that you need to take to New Vegas because it's, it's open, but the difficulty of the routes is what organically stops you from taking them, which is really nice. So you generally have to take a route, but you can... But the route's like, oh, you can't see what I'm doing. The route is like a C shape. This isn't very clear. I can just show you on the map. Let's, bye. <laughs> She's like, we only, we only start talking. Let me, let me show you why I like this. So, this isn't going to work, is it? Because I can't, right, we've got, oh, this is going to be amazing. So, you generally have to go like down, across, up, and then back. Um, and that's generally the only route you can take. But it means you can sort of do this. So, it's open, you know, you're like doing that along a straight route. So it's open world, but the game kind of knows what order you're going to find the open world stuff, if that makes sense. So it's able to balance itself really well. And I really like this style. Starfield and Fallout 3 don't really do that, even though I think Fallout 3 is really good. I prefer this style of doing that sort of thing, which is why I like this game so much, because it's balanced really well, and they sort of know where you're going to be at what time. Howdy. Hello. So how are we doing? Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Sure. Why not? Uh, Doc Merchel says you could help me survive in the desert. Yeah. Yeah. I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get. My nose is really itching. I don't know. <laughs> Meet me outside. <laughs> I'm behind just the like saloon. rubbing my drink on my nose. All right, let's go. We're gonna. She's gonna help me shoot. Ah, I got away with that one. Let me get one of these. I'm gonna keep saving. There we go. I think a thousand saves is a bit stingy, personally. Oh, did I just? Oh my god, my controller. My controller doesn't work in the menus. I think we could do more than that. I think that's a bit unfair. This is going well. <laughs> oh, she disappeared. My nose is so itchy. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. What did you major in college? I didn't go to college. I'm a, I'm a British person, but I'm only joking. That's just a. Di Where's she gone? That's what I get for being an asshole. Oh, she's up here. All right, Cheyenne, show me how it's done. Now. <laughs> the the That's not funny. It's stupid. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay, gotcha. Oh my word! Look at this. My character really does not want to hit these bottles. What? That was aiming. Right. Let's just do it without the aim. This should be fine. Because we just get a nice middle. Okay. Things aren't. Things aren't. Things aren't going well. Look down the side. I'm being judged by hundreds of people. I should have kept my. I should have kept my grenade launcher. Oh my god, right. I'm going to go find it. I want to shoot it at that and see what happens. I'm sure the quest won't get cancelled. Up is not jump. What do you think of Armored Core 6? I don't know. I've never played it. Are you mad? Everyone says crouch. <laughs> I'll get there. Okay. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, gotcha. Right, we're going to get my grenade launcher back. I think we've really missed some good strats here. Alright, there we go. Oh, <sighs> My nose! <laughs> oh, my nose! Ah. There we go, right. What do you think of Dark Souls 3? Finally, a sensible question. Honestly, Marlon, not a huge fan, I'm afraid to say. Um, I really like f Dark Souls 1, 2, and... Um, uh, you all know what I'm trying to say. The, 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 the tree one. You know, the, the, the Ents. Uh, I like those ones, but I'm not a huge fan. I did it. Everything all right? Oh, I wanted to ask you some questions. Until now. There's, there's nothing left. I did it all. 
Everything all right? No, oh, the game hasn't thought of this plan. Until okay, so uh, I've broken the game. Giant, help me! Ride. What do you think of climate change? Not a fan, I'm afraid. <laughs> Dark Souls Three, climate change, very similar feelings. Um, I couldn't. I just couldn't get into Dark Souls Three. Um, Dark Souls One is the best one in my opinion, and then it's the open world one, which I can't remember the name of. The Elden Ring. Um, but I'm a big fan of two as well. I think I went one, two, Elden Ring three, which is a really bad way of going because I think Dark Souls three is qu is quite similar to Elden Ring in a lot of its mechanics, but nowhere near, it, in my opinion, is interesting or as varied. So it's kind of hard to go back to it. Whereas one and two, I think, are quite different to three and Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds, Elden Ring. <laughs> this is working. I don't know what the crouch part is. There we go. Oh, this is genius. Look at this strap. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? What are your thoughts on existential dread? Very into it. Very, very, um, it's just down to very well acquainted with my old friend existential dread. What are the ways to deal with it? I've learned. Let it in. Feel your existential dread. Let it take you on a journey. I wonder if she's still hurt, because I shot her quite a lot. Let me just keep saving, because I'm just going to end up fucking myself. <laughs> I'm just going to keep blowing my nose as well. Yeah, no, she is definitely hurt. See, one strat is to like really lower Cheyenne's health, and then she gets killed. Um, I don't really want to do that, because I quite like Cheyenne, mainly because I can't pronounce her name. Make, it, make your existential dread your existential friend. I think they're onto something there. See, a lot of people are like, try and live a life without anxiety. But what they mean is, or what they should be saying, this is one of our problems in today's society. Is, how's the cat cam, by the way? <laughs> um, let me move this down. Because um, I'm sitting back a bit now. There you go. Is what you should be doing is learning to live a life with anxiety. <laughs> Learn to live with your anxiety. Don't, don't try and get rid of it. And then everything comes easier because you stop fighting. Hi. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? This is some proper chat in the Fallout New Vegas out. Let's Play. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. I call my Let's cats see if little we can gremlins. Get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Cool. I mean, I'm. I mean, she doesn't. She doesn't realize that I am utterly overpowered. So there's not a lot of worry about this. Come here, geckos. They're all fucking dead. Cheyenne's not... Oh, that gecko is still alive. No, oh, no, he's not got a leg. He's not dead. Cheyenne's got nothing to worry about. Oops. See? You're getting the hang of it. Yeah, that varmint rifle. Two more wells that Packs a punch. Clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps This is me. why I drop all of these items, because they're really unfair. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Ketamine is legal in the UK. What? That can't be true. <laughs> These are the th comments that jump out at me. Not gonna lie, I personally think Starfield was a disappointment. What do you think? Well, everyone had quite, I think people have quite high. Oh my God. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, she did. She, she, she did. Let me just make sure I'm trying to record this on my end. I am recording it, good. Um, I feel. I think I feel like with Starfield is, it shouldn't. Starfield shouldn't be as popular as it as it is. I think is how I would review it. It's this game with such enormous popularity. Um, but it's not a high quality game. There's a lot to do, and I think that's quite. You know, because it's so popular, everyone expects it to be so good, and I don't know if that's entirely a fair way to look at it. I just don't think it should be so popular. I don't know what I'm doing. I think that quest is kind of over. And this is why I like these games so much as well. Like, I just killed a major character accidentally. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. What is going on? Um, and it's fine. You can kill them. You can kill everyone. It's fucking fantastic. Whereas in Starfield, I don't seem to be able to kill anyone. 
Um, and I always feel like that's what those games are about. Like you go around mass murdering and accident. Generally how I played Fallout 3, just bear with me. <laughs> Sorry, still very itchy. Um, I wonder if I'll get in trouble for killing Cheyenne because it was an accident. I wonder if I can explain to the townspeople. So I've got no quests anymore. All right. Inquire your delivery point. Yeah, I've just got to go to print. That's fine. Let's go back to Good Springs. I wonder if... I think the quest might be a bit ruined. Uh, <laughs> am I in the right place? No, I've gone to the wrong one. In Fallout 3, what I like to do... I told my wife this, and she kind of moved away from me a little bit. Was um, I like to cosplay as a serial killer as I play the game. And so every time I'm sort of finished with a character, I go into the house at night, kill them, and then move their body parts around different parts of the house and then leave. And so I leave a trail of destruction. A bit like um, Hannibal in the TV show Hannibal. Very similar sort of. That's my design. Um, and I just feel like that was just what, how people played these games. <laughs> there was that. So it was being stealthy and just killing people and no one reacting. And the dialogue options. And it feels like they've been moving away from that, but not really been replacing it with anything. They've just been adding more things. How are we doing, Pete? Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I've got some terrible news. I've killed uh, Cheyenne. Uh, Cheyenne. <laughs> I don't remember what the girl's name is. <laughs> Why are you called Easy Pete, Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out <laughs> with the Brahmin and the Bighorners. The not-so-daring devil says, I too play as Hannibal from the television show Hannibal. <laughs> What do you know about the people who attacked me? You ever seen the TV show Friends? The one in the fancy suit. Yes, uh, Chandler, I think his as name was. As much as I know, other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Don't worry, he's very scared of me. All he says when he meets me is, "What in the goddamn?" And then I blow him up. Um, you're a prospector, like digging for gold and silver. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. I mean, prospecting does sound better than being a salvage. The way I see salvage uh, means it's broken, near worthless. Great. Did you ever find anything good? Can I have, I'm going to, oh, we know what's going to happen. We're going to search his house for what he's been prospecting. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. All right, we're going to go search his house. Let's just uh, let's just take a little break for that. So, we're going to go see if he really has got good stuff. I'm going to get rid of this gun because it's causing all sorts of problems. Okay. No mod playthrough. Well, the only mods I put on this is kind of like graphics mods. I don't feel like it needs much gameplay stuff. It's just to make the people look a little bit more like human beings. But I think there's a charm to it all, you know? Good Springs home. I mean, maybe this man doesn't actually have a named house. Uh, I haven't played Baldur's Gate yet. I've been playing Starfield and I'm massively regretting that decision. Yeah, I don't know if anyone actually named lives in any of these houses. All right, let's just assume that Easy Pete lives in this house. You know, he said he's got some good stuff, so let's see if, he's, if he means it. No, 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 no. Where's that radio? We have to turn it off. That's an iron. Uh, all right, because you're all here, let me turn, the, let me, let me turn this off. Uh, I'm going to get sued by... That person. That person's ancestors. Uh, right. What's Easy Pete got in the save? Oh, I don't I save. I can't open this. So, okay, never mind. There we go. Uh, right. Just because you're all... I've got really good news for you all. You see this iron? Oh, fuck. I stole it. <laughs> um, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, what am I talking about? So, in Fallout New Vegas, the review that I'm currently working on, I've tried to, like, set up a... Um, I'm a kleptomaniac gamer, which is something I tried to call my YouTube channel, but it was already taken. Uh, so you're lucky that someone had already made kleptomaniac gamer because that was the one I would have picked. And do you really all want me to be called kleptomaniac gamer? Because that's such a bad name. I mean, up is not jump, is it any better? But let's be honest. 
Uh, I've t decided to set like a, I'm just gonna tell you this in person. Hello, I've decided to like create like a, um, a set list of things I do in my videos. Cause I've come up with all these like fun ideas and I don't do them all the time. And I just think oh, I'll just do it in all the videos. And then I've got like a formula that's easy to make. And one of the things is making music videos. And yes, because in the last video I did Spooky Sparrows, Diary Skeletons, and I've got a really good news for you all. Okay, just you guys watching, just the, the few people here. I am going to do a music video. And so I'm going to sing have produ and produce a song of Big Iron for the Fallout New Vegas video. And as part of the joke, and this is a big spoiler, so you don't want to hear, but I'm going to tell people who really want to know. I'm going to be carrying around very large iron objects. <laughs> so we're going to go online and we're going to find the biggest clothes iron that we can find. And that's going to be the joke in the music video. I have a friend who's really good at guitar and mixing music because I know so many musicians, which is why I can keep making music videos for the things. I know loads of musicians. And it's going to be fucking hilarious. So, <laughs> right, some bad's happening. If you don't have Ringo over soon. I'm not going to get involved. Let's do the actual quest as we probably should. Got it. So this is a powder you ganger. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Oh, he, re he really goes. It's so that you don't have time to kill him, I'm pretty sure. Hey, Rudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Uh, show me what you've got for sale. No, I'm fine. What have you? What are you arguing Looks about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Uh huh. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, uh -huh. comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Uh -huh. Bad men after him. Uh -huh. Needs a place to hide. Uh -huh. We figured he was just in shock. Uh -huh. So we gave him a place to lie low. Uh -huh. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Uh -huh. A lot of exposition from this lady. <laughs> just a lot of <laughs> She's told me everything. Like, do you even know who I am, Trudy? I could be one of them. Okay, Ringo is in the abandoned fuel place. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Gas station. Fuel how? <laughs> fuel building. <laughs> Why not kill Cole and be done with it? Uh, I can do that for you. I am fucking insane. I'll kill anyone. I killed Cheyenne accidentally. Like, I can definitely kill Cobb if I tried. You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Bluster and threaten, eh? I'm enjoying your language. Okay, what are you going to do about it, Trudy? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for you know, Ringo. <laughs> Sonny ain't standing up for him. anyone. <laughs> Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers, right. Powder gangers are some escaped convicts from an NCR prison who have gotten hold of dynamite somehow. I think they were using the dynamite to mine for the NCR, but now they've just got the dynamite and now they're running around wild as outlaws with the dynamite. Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. That's a terrible idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Get that fringe Some head. of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Uh, okay, that's pretty much everything. Never mind. <laughs> All right. So I also really like this game because I feel like the money system is balanced really well at the beginning. If you have a really high bar to s value, it is of great help. If you don't have the DLCs installed, the, the DLCs kind of fuck with it. But the, the economy in the beginning of the game is quite important. So having a high bar to skill at the beginning is really useful because you can buy and sell stuff and get some really good things for the f fight they're about to have. I'm sure I've got something you like. <sighs> I don't want any of this. This is just food. I have no interest in any of your stuff, so let's leave. Okay. Who was that man you were arguing with? We've already had the conversation. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. <laughs> of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Wait, what, what's this got to do with anything? Your radio? I've, I zoned out. I was reading, um, I missed the first 40 minutes. What happened to Sonny and Cheyenne? I've got some terrible news for you. <laughs> it, was an, it was a genuine accident. I blew them up with some explosive devices. How long are you planning to stream? I'm gonna play till like five o'clock BST. Um, so about three hours. Um, we've done about half an hour probably. Hey up, what species of cactus do you relate to the most? Oh, I've got a really sad story about a cactus. I know you can't believe it, but it's true. Uh, right, did my attackers say where they're going? They Try and remind me in case I forget what it, that story was. The checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. Cool, I'll see you there. Why, why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive. I could think be for all I know. that putting really high areas of difficulty 
early on in the game is just like a beautiful game mechanic that I'm really surprised you don't see more of them. Um, I think it's done really well in this game. I hear Stalker does quite similar things. It's like you can kill all of the death claws at the beginning if you're the right character or if you find the right items. You know, like I say, if you've got a really good barter skill, you might be able to get some really good weapons or if you've got high energy weapons and you or high barter and you mix it up it is possible and it's just like a really fun challenge and one but also if you can't do it you're like oh i'm gonna come back there later it's just really nice it's just really nice and i don't know why it's not used more often because it's fucking sexy so where are they so where were they headed who i don't know what we're talking about i didn't about. hear exactly but cool they've gone to the street wants to get there and avoid the 15 he'd have to go 15 east. is full of cazadors which are up. basically suicide so we can't do that and it's all great it's all great it's all great uh Okay. Who was that man we were arguing? We've done all this, haven't we? Yes. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Do you know about the robot? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. She's like the doctor in Star Trek at season... Polanski! Almost certainly isn't her name, but you, some people in the chat will know who I mean. Um, <laughs> there's a doctor in like season two or three of Star Trek that doesn't like Data. I think it's season two, and everyone doesn't like her because she doesn't trust robots. But I think it's quite a good character trait. Everyone just wants everyone in Star Trek to be fucking perfect, but sometimes people aren't nice. So the cactus story. What exactly? <laughs> I'm never going to get back to that. What does he like to do around here? Who? The robot. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd it's be because careful. because I'm it's dragonborn, obviously. Before. Or bulletborn. Bullet in the brainborn. This kind of fits, you know. You don't like him? No, she doesn't like him. How long has he been good drinks? That's important. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. So I'm assuming that these guys are spies and so they're kind of like in every town and they've just been keeping an eye out for things and now he's seen me and I'm very important you don't like him it acts friendly enough but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act I find it all very creepy I think she's onto something cool 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 this is this is, this is boring so anything interesting going on the rest of my visitors there's always something interesting blah Tell me about the NCR. I feel like we don't need to know any of this. I'm kind of already in there by now. But let's just... I'm just going to skim through this just for my own purposes to skim read it. The New California... Da, 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 da. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. Uh, Mostly traders looking to buy Bighorn. Most travelers heading south on the I-15. Gotcha, right. Why do you think the NCR and the Legion both want the dam? It's a power source and people who are. I'm the pretty power. sure the NCR... Great. The Legion are a bunch of savages that... This is just for me. I'm just sort of absorbing this information for my review, but I don't want to just sit here and do text for the entire stream. So if you're not, if you don't like it, you can you can, you can play the game yourself. Slavers, uh, killers. Uh, the rumor is, is that the legion. Uh, cool. Okay. So just just trying to like refresh my memory before I write the review, but I already know most Be of this. Oh my god, am I hot? Fucking hell. <laughs> now here's where I could take my trousers off. You guys can't see this. I'm not doing anything. steamy oh oh i can't i can't do this my legs are stuck everything's stuck to me i'm sticky oh do i feel better i hope this is helping cactus story okay so oh my game just turned off oh, i've just kicked the hdmi hdmi cable i don't know how what effect that's gonna have my trousers are on the hdmi cable no okay so the cactus story so i'm not allowed to stand up i have to remember that i'm not wearing any trousers okay 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 cactus so in one of my videos, I hold like some cactuses up, and it's not the Half-Life video. Hello. Uh, hello. <laughs> what a nice lady. I thought the radio didn't work. What is that music? I can't have music playing. It's going to ruin everyone, everything. I turned the radio off. I fixed the radio. Where's, where's the... Stop. No, oh, it's the jukebox. Turn off! Turn, turn. Oh, phew. So in one of my videos, I, I wanted to buy like a cactus for a joke. It was ages ago. One of my early nightmare reviews. Um, 
and I bought three. And it was one of the first bot props I ever bought. I bought three cactuses and they arrived and I kept them alive for like five years. And then, this is where I'm gonna sound incredibly middle class, but we had a cleaner in our old house. <laughs> we don't have a cleaner anymore. And she was completely insane. And um, one of the things she kept doing was watering our plants. And every week I told her, please don't water the plants. Uh, you keep killing them. And we end, and she ended up. We ended up. This is why we don't have a cleaner anymore. We were spending more money on the things that she destroyed than we were paying her. Like she destroyed a load of our wedding photos because she kept cleaning them. So don't clean our photos. She like took water and covered it over pictures, and then it seeped behind and dissolved the pictures. <laughs> anyway, so I kept telling her not to, but she kept doing it. And then one week she watered my cactus too much, and she watered it so much it was the circular one, like a barrel cactus, uh, that it popped. I couldn't fucking believe it. I was speechless. Um, I was in the room. And I, just, I just had like a sound, and then my cactus popped because it was overwatered so much. And it was my first, like one of my first props. That she killed. <laughs> who killed? Who waters a cactus? Don't water cactuses. Why would you do that? Please don't kill my plants. <laughs> I would hear her. This this woman was insane. I would hear her. Um, That's close enough. Who are you? Like what when I was working in the downstairs, was going, ow, ow. Ow! Ow! Because she would keep dropping things on her feet, and I just couldn't under like like constantly like ow ow. Sometimes back to back, she would drop things on herself, and I would run down. I'm like, oh my god, are you alright? And she's like, oh, I'm fine. And I'm like, please don't go through the cupboards. You're dropping everything on yourself. <laughs> it was a very dark time, I tell you. Right. So this is Ringo. He's running from the Powder Gangers. I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. I'm just having to look around. I'm going to shoot a bit on this. One of the things about this game that you just can't really emulate is just that the writing is very, like, smooth. It all feels very, very, like, the tone is very good. It keeps, like, a very level tone throughout the game. And everything you say generally leads to something kind of interesting happening. You're not just, like, having a boring conversation. It's usually quite interesting topics. And the characters feel very real in the things that they say. And there's no way to, like, sort of review that. You just say it. Like, the writing's good. And you can't... And you can't really elaborate more than that. The writing in this game is good. Uh, I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. <laughs> Let's say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan. I am not playing Caravan. You know how to play? No. I, can, I can't. Like, let's look at the, what are the rules. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. Great. Well, let's it's play. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holiday. <laughs> it goes into more specifics about the rules. Yeah, because that wasn't enough. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? I feel like Gwen was definitely done a bit better than this. Uh, where can I find more cards? Just keep an eye out for him while you travel. I found cards in old boxes. You're fr okay. See, another thing that's really good about these older games, and this is a problem that I had with sort of Resident Evil 4 and the remake and stuff, and it's the, the same problem in Starfield, and even uh, The Last of Us, all the stuff that I've been playing recently has the same problem, in which, like, because we've got big modern graphics, the only way to make the game look normal is to fill the environment with so many things. Whereas in these games, because the graphics were quite simple and they were, they, that was the, you know, the style at the time, um, it means you can quite easily scan areas for interesting or important things. Like this book, you just see straight away. Whereas they have to make these things like glow in new games and stuff. And I really do feel like... This is just me showing how old I am. Fucking hell. I just like this better. <laughs> like in Starfield, I can't find anything because their rooms are so full of stuff. Like it's just like a million things. So finding anything of note is, you know, it's not, you, you have to kind of spend hours searching through things. Is this yours? Can I, can I, all right, you need to turn away, Billy. Can you look away? I was trying to turn him around. Can I put something in between me and him? There we go, can't see me now. I don't know if I can. I can't go in an easy safe. How come? Enter vats. Why does it want me to do vats? Why can't I go in this? I don't know. Oh, 25. There we go. Okay, I'll go into vats. God, my lockpick is super low. I thought I had a high intellect. Oh, everything is quite low. Okay, never mind. You don't have a lockpick. No! I mean, I might, that might be true. 
More flash than substance these days, eh? Says Shirivon. <laughs> uh, everyone's saying that I look like Ninja. Yeah, I am level one. Hi, Ringo. What is it? So we're going to help you against those naughty powder gangers because there's nothing else to do. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows Sorry, when I see him. <laughs> and he's right. Yes, I'll great. I have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Yeah, and Sonny's dead as well, so we don't stand a huge chance. So I might have to take the side of the powder gangers. Not even yeah. drop. No, I'm gonna play as a good guy, just because it's the for the purposes of a review. You kind of. We put up a good fight. Too many see up. the general I took a few of the bandits down before I ran so I figured their friends are out for uh, when I'm reviewing I generally want to talk about it in a way that people sort of relate to so if I just play the way that most people play and then I talk about the story and the perspective that everyone else has seen so my hands are kind of well I don't have to do that but generally that's that's what I want to do it just means that we we're all on the same sort of level because most people have only played this game once and played probably the normal way of playing it which is either helping House or the NCR. Most people generally probably aren't going to help the Legion. Uh, but for this, just for the sake of intrigue, because it's more interesting for a stream, we'll play as the bad guys. Um, my controller's not working. <laughs> what do you do around here while you're trapped in this building all day? Oh, sorry. I thought everybody knew already. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. I'm uh, staying in town for a bit. Can I get a chicken with rice? I left my a bowl of rice out yesterday and my cat ate it all. Did you want something else? There was no soy sauce, salt, pepper, or anything. It was a bowl of plain rice that I ate. I, don't, I cooked too much rice and ate the whole thing. I don't, I don't know why he did that or why a cat would do such a thing, but he did. They're supposed to be carnivores. Okay. What do you do around here? I've already covered everybody else. Like this. I said, like I'm I said. not from Good Springs. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. Gotcha. Can you tell me anything more about Good Springs? Uh, I've never stopped here until re- Great. Tell me more about the Crimson- The CCC, as they call them. It's been in business for a very long time. It's probably the biggest trading outfit in California. There's a branch up in New Vegas, but it hasn't been doing so well. Word is that the big boss herself, Alice McLafferty, is coming in to fix things. Cool. Got ya. Right. Bye! Yeah. That's not shoot in head. Okay, so... I don't really remember what to do now because I've killed Sunny. I don't imagine that's quite a big part of how I'm supposed to do this. Look at this fucking rule set. You just, just sit and read these rules for Caravan. This is why I, I have never played it. Look at this. <laughs> okay. I didn't feed my cat rice. He, he, I left it out and he ate it all. I didn't think it was of a concern. I always put like cheese and meats away, but I didn't think he was gonna eat some fucking rice. He wants an ate an entire pear tart, and oh my god, this was before we let them out because they were kittens. His litter box looked like a fucking war crime. Sonny's dead, that means that you failed Ghost Town Gunfight. <laughs> I love that you know the name of the quest. Thank you, Y4. Okay, so that's over. Uh, okay. Good sir, may I humbly request the volume be louder? Currently I'm enjoying AI my stream where I'd love to actually hear things. Are we, how do I, I can't open the safe cold 9.30, I don't have a high enough lockpick skill. Are we, thank you Joe, are we still not happy with the sound? What's not loud enough? The sound is fine too quiet. I mean, I, I don't think I can turn it up anymore. Am I too quiet or the game? Your voice is a bit quiet. Just a bit more mic. Okay. Uh, is that better? So I'm speaking a bit louder now. Or am I not? I turned it up. I can turn it up even more. Okay, I've turned turn myself up even more. The whole stream is a bit low. I don't know why. So I'm now speaking louder. You don't have enough volume skill. I certainly don't. Uh, I don't know if I can 
boost the sound on the game out a bit. I just don't seem to be able to, can I, I can't go above 100 on the game output, I'm afraid. I don't know what the issue is. You can hear your neighbor now. I have no problem with the sound. Well, I don't think I can tell how many more than this. <laughs> it seems to be as loud as it will go. Um, it is a skill issue, yeah. I mean, yeah, I know what you mean. The game does seem quite quiet. Uh, I can let me turn the music and the footsteps down and just the voices up. So then you'll be able to hear what people are saying. I'm going to turn the radio off because I don't want to have copyrighted stuff. We'll turn the effects down a bit. There you go. That should probably help things. There we go. I think it's a bit louder now. What do you think, young big horner? Why can't they just call it a horner? Right, okay, so I fucked up the opening quest uh, by killing that lady, so we can't do it. For the purposes of the fact that I'm doing this for a review, we're going to just uh, go back and we'll just skip a little of the conversations and we'll get back into things. We'll go back to when that poor woman was still alive. Everyone's going to be like, oh, we've gone back. I, not to put words in your mouth, but we'll be really, really speedy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit the tutorial early, go and talk to that guy and begin the quest really quickly, so don't worry. The, gate, the people will be speaking a bit louder now, I think. As long as you can hear me. I'm the important thing here. I can just read what it says. <laughs> Come on, Sonny. We need to get where we're going. We're not, we've got, not got time. Hear that up on the ridge behind me? See, she's much louder now. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know how you can't hear this. <laughs> seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Can I turn up like the global sound so that everything is louder for you? Because global settings. I don't see any anything here that could even begin to fix that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. This is very challenging for your for your person up is not jump. Don't worry. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Better for you. Quiet. Yeah, it's it's very loud now. Jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. I'll just have these on the outside of my ears, but there we go. Right, let's kill some shit. We, we didn't really do this anyway. Look, because we've already done this, let's just speed through this a bit quickly. I'm not going to blow her up this time, I promise. Dead. Stay back. Oh, she, where is she? This is a one-off stream, I'm afraid. I, there is actually, the stream has an ulterior motive. I, yeah, if I don't tell you who is involved in this, I can tell you about it. Oh my God, Jesus Christ, my ears. Um, streaming makes me really stressed. I, <laughs> I've got a bit of a tummy ache right now. Please tell me Cheyenne is still alive. If she just, if she dies, I'm gonna be fucking, no, it's Sunny, not Cheyenne. Where is she gone? I've run off without, oh, I've run off without her. Um, because I only make one video every like three months. See? Yeah, there okay. we go. Two I'm trying to find a way to have a more like uh, monthly income. Because I won't, if, over a three month period, I won't make any money. And it's a bit of a weird way to live because you, you if you're, <laughs> you, you know, people kind of need a monthly income. I'm sure you can understand that. Um, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'll save the day. And what I was, what I'm trying, to, oh my God to do what an idea that I had was I could maybe do sponsored streams for games and just like this stream is brought to you by X and then I stream it for a couple of hours um, so this is kind of like a test for that so I can send it to publishers and say look I've done a stream here's how it did here's what the stats are like um, so you'd get I wouldn't plan on doing more than like one every couple of months it's not gonna be a huge thing but it's just so I can uh, make sure the channel has like a passive income I mean I've got my actually everything I said is a lie because we've got patrons but this is just like another thing on top of it thank you patrons sorry that made me sound a bit weird unpopular opinion starfield scanner is as good as 
you can turn off here is everything bar that Skyrim had surface map. I, that disappeared too quickly. Thank you for the comment. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't read it properly. But I, if I click away, the game will crash probably. So I, I don't have a lot of chat. I need to read them a bit faster. I think you should stream more as often as alternative income and upload the whole thing to YouTube. The thing, the problem is, is that I don't really enjoy streaming. So when I do stream, it makes sense to make it a sponsored one. Not that I'm not enjoying this. It's just I'm quite st stressed performing in front of people. It's not you. It's not your guys' fault. Um, it just gives me a bit of a tummy ache because I'm quite an anxious person. <laughs> Where have you gone, woman? I'd like to end the tutorial so we can actually get on with the game. We're still in the opening area. Don't make me blow you up. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? <laughs> S. Mursky says you should learn to live with anxiety. You said to learn to live with anxiety. Yeah, it doesn't make it. <laughs> I'm trying. All right, okay, we're good. Let's go. I'm heading back now. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy? She'd be Yep, Trudy, we already met Trudy. Right. Let's get this, let's get this, let's get going with this. So it's not that I don't enjoy this, I'm having a great time, this is really fun. It just gives me a bit of a tummy ache. <laughs> so it'd be cool to do some sponsored streams just every now and again, I'd be okay with that. But like every week is a way of doing it, I don't think is for me. Because I want to work on the main videos and that's what you all want. I put quite a lot of my, it's kind of like a full-time thing, the main videos. As I say, I didn't mean that make that sound like I'm not enjoying streaming. It's really fun. It's just something I don't think I can do all the time. Hello! Close enough. All right, we've already done all this. I'm not an enemy. Da, da, da. We're not going to play caravan. Ooh, speech. Staying, I guess, because the quest is back on. Staying because you want to or because you have to. This is a good hiding spot. Yeah, that is a pretty flimsy story, I guess. The real reason that I'm staying is because there's a group of men out to kill me. Okay, here we go. So, what are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. Now, I'm going to pretend to help this person, and then I'm going to turn on him, because I want to be evil for the purposes of the stream. You need a hired gun? You need a... I don't have anything. I was going to do a bit, but I've got nothing. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. Thank you, Ed, Ed Lad. That's very kind of you. Oh, and thank you, Facepuncher74. I just wanted to say thanks for the laughs. Currently watching this in a warehouse mountain back room. Big ups, pimp. Big ups, pimp. Is that what I'm going to call you guys now? I've been trying to think of a name for your big ups, pimp. Uh, I don't know what you said. It'll have to do. Oh, he's paid me to help him. We sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Right, we're going to get the town on board no, to help against the powder gangers. I'll ask around and see if I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Well, it's with a name like that. Okay, I need to level up before I can steal from his uh, thing. Okay. I'm getting rid of this once and for all because it's just not fair. And I have all this like apparel as well, which I don't, I don't want. I want to... We want the... You know, the... The clean experience, if you know what I mean. Streaming in Disco Elysium sounds like fun. Yeah, I bet it would be. Yeah. <laughs> I won't say what people I have in mind because um, I'm not sure yet. But like, I've got some ideas in mind for sponsored ones. Alrighty, so let's talk to Sunny about taking care of these powder gangers. Where are you? 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 I'm done here tonight. Well, you've been causing quite. We've already had this whole conversation. I heard you're going, man. No, 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 no. What are you going to do? Powder gangers. Where's Ringo? Why not just kill Cobb? Right, let's go to something else. We've already done all of this. Let's talk to Sunny. Is this VOD going to stay on YouTube? It is. I'll leave it on for like a week, probably. I don't tend to want to keep these things on. Usually I take them down straight away. This one's going to stay on for at least a week so that people can see it and have a good time. Um, Steven McStuverson <laughs> says, what's your favorite Elder Scrolls game? And 
I've only... I'm just trying to f talk to Sunny Smiles. I'm just trying to find where she, where she is. Is she not finished walking back from this area yet? Um, the only one I played is Skyrim, hilariously. So that's the one. I'm quite excited for... Um, Oblivion. Oh! Oh shit! Let's be friends! What do you want? What was that you said about Ringo? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. God, you really want to kill him. Serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Oh, Job. Joe. This Job? Let's shorten him to Job. Joe Cobb, aka Job. Um, I'm so excited for La 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 Oblivion. I'm so excited for Sky Oblivion because I've recently made very good friends with the head mod of Sky Oblivion, Rebel Z's. We hung out the whole time I was in Gamescom and he was telling me about the mod and it sounds really interesting. I can see the hair that's on my nose. This is what's going wrong. I need to get this. There we go. Is this what's causing all this problem? It seems unlikely. Uh, and it seems like a really cool mod, Sky Oblivion, and I'm really interested to play it because I've never played Oblivion and I really like Skyrim. That's what I was going to say. What say I help you take over this tan? No. I got a funny feeling about it. Oh, that's that. That's, that's that. Really, I'm trusting you to watch my back. Oh. I think I might need to kill some innocent people first. It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Cool, so we know where the prison is. What were you in prison for? Do you have thoughts on Fallout London being a, f a London resident yourself? Would you be able to recognize all of the areas as an out... <laughs> Would, you <laughs> Would being able to recognize all the areas be an out-of-body experience? I don't like the graphics or the visual style of Fallout 4. Just going to say it. It's not a fan. So not really. I'm not really excited for that or the remaking this game in Fallout 4 or the remaking Fallout 3 in Fallout 4. What were you in prison for that reason? I just don't think it looks very nice. I think this game looks better than Fallout 4. You know? I just think it looks more aesthetically pleasing. I made that argument in my Fallout 3 video that Fallout 3, I think, is just looks better. I know no one's gonna, everyone thinks I'm fucking mad, but that's how I feel. So I don't really care for these these mods of Fallout 4. That's why I'm not a huge fan of the visual style of Starfield either, because it just reminds me of Fallout 4. I just I just don't like really where where they the, where they went with it visually. And there you go. Sorry. What were you in prison for? I had a feeling you might say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just need to know if I should watch my step around you. See, sensible, clear, success. Rob some people. Burned some things, killed a few guys. What's I could just shoot this guy in the head now and everything will be fine. Let's see what happens if we do that. How about that? We'll save and try that. That will solve all of these problems. Been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. The power. What do you know about Hoover Dam? Never been there since the NCR's got troops all over it. Must be pretty important. I like how this guy, who's just like a convict who's been locked away all of the time, doesn't know what's going on in the wasteland i think that's i always feel like everything in this game is very consistent and everyone is well written in that sort of way everyone is very believable and i think it's just a really nice touch what do you know about the legion i've run with some tough gangs but i gotta admit they all got nothing on the legion i ain't saying i'm afraid of them or nothing oh no of course not but i'll be staying out of their way all right joe mr cobb job as we guess we're gonna call him job job with two b's joe jobs tell me about the NCR. Nothing new about it. Just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. They've got troops all over the Mojave. But it's a big desert. So it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. Cool. Great. That was nice. See, I enjoy talking to you, Joe. Yeah. You give me a unique perspective on things. You're not just like everyone else. Well. Let's see what impact this has on things. Because I can't join him. I wonder why. I imagine... If I look at my character, it's because of my broken arm. That's what it is. Let me fix that right. Oh, I've done the wrong thing. There we go. Is it because I didn't kill Sunny? Is that why you don't believe me? 
Why are you apologizing for stating facts? Fallout 3 New Vegas looks gritty as sandpaper and 4 looks like a cartoon with no edge and lipped super mutants. Yeah, the, the lips of the super mutants really freak me out. <laughs> if that's what you're saying. I don't know if I'm understanding you completely. <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant underscore Wadsworth. Uh, where's my, like... Where's my karma? I bet people at home are just like, what the hell are you doing? Here we go, neutral. Yeah, I mean, that might be the problem. I imagine people are going to say what it is. This is going to stay on YouTube, yeah, for at least a week. It's because you talked to Ringo. Hey, nice one. Oh, yeah, because I said I'm going to help him. That is one of my main uh, criticisms of this game, which is probably what I'll talk about in my video, is you can't really be an undercover agent in this. If you want to, like, learn about a faction by sort of getting to know them, everyone will... Uh, no one will believe that that's what you're doing. It's like Boone. Fucking Boone. Is that his name? Boone? Like, I want to get to know the uh, the legions so that I can assassinate um, see Kaisar. But he gets really annoyed at you. And you can't just, like, and you're just like, look, Boone. 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 Come in close. I'm a spy. But you, no one will believe you. All right, well. Okay. All right, let's see how many shots of the head this man can take. Oh, I've got a really low AP. <laughs> Why didn't I keep my thing? I've got no armor or anything. Let's reload while we're here. I can do this. Ah, I can see me! I can do this. I can do this. I'm stuck in the truck. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> I can't get out. He doesn't seem to know I'm here. I will admit, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Let's try and get rid of his gun. No, it's not high enough. Good afternoon from the Czech Republic. I used to live in the Czech Republic. I lived there for about three or four months. I left because the job I was doing there was horrible. This is this is this is very difficult. He is very strong. I just thought I'd just blow his head up. I should have started with a sneak shot. I'm gonna go around the back. He'll never expect this. Hilariously, he doesn't seem to know that I'm here. I really wish I had kept more weapons than this. Look, I'm not down there, Cobb. Like Jesus Christ. This seems to be working quite well. Ah! Isa or Ika, sorry I can't say her name, is also from uh, Czech era as well. Welcome all the Czech people. Alright, I've got this. There we go. That was quite the battle. Let's take so I'm assuming... That's going to... Well, obviously. Well, no, I mean, they might still attack. Oh, we need some nude mods on this. This isn't going to work. <laughs> um, don't worry, I've got all this lovely food. I've got blood packs, great. I was always a fan of just eating and drinking rather than... Oh, no, that's, oh wait, no, this game doesn't heal you straight away, does it? Oops. Cheyenne, you could have fucking helped. Look at her. Cheyenne has seen some shit. Look at that. That's the face of a, of a scared... This, this, is the, <laughs> this is like Undertale. The dog knows that it died in a previous save and it's just it's contemplating it. But I was dead. And now I'm not. What happened? Cool. So, sorry, I'm just trying lots of things and reloading. But again, I'm doing this for the purposes of reviewing. So, I kind of need to see all the different things that can happen. Um, you can be a double agent with factions in this game. You can, but you can't tell anyone that's what you're doing. At least as far as I know. At least for a lot of the time. Oh, excuse me. Just bumping the mic. Would you do an Undertale review? I probably would. It depends. I think an Undertale review, people would watch it. I'm not Simon Whistler. <laughs> I think people would watch an Undertale review. I wasn't entirely happy with the views. This, this makes me sound like so a bad what's person. Going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Don't worry about that. Oh, I <laughs> have Oh. Well, I don't want to make a move until she's with us. I don't think you need to worry about that, but maybe they're going to attack me anyway. I've just taken out one of them. Um, 
I feel like I misjudged how many people were going to watch or be interested in a Disco Elysium review and put way too much work into it. So I feel like what I've learned from that is I could probably do like smaller indie games. But Undertale isn't really a small indie game. I think it would do pretty well. But I'd probably not put three months of work into it like I did Disco Elysium. That was like the most work I've ever put into anything in my life. And I should have done it into maybe like a review of Fallout New Vegas, for example, (laughs) instead. (laughs) A game that we all know is going to do well. See, I feel like a bad person because I wouldn't complain about this. But if this was happening in Starfield, I'd get really like shitty about it. So maybe I need to reestablish my um, priorities. My phone's about to run out of power. I need to have it on and I can't plug it in here. And I'm not wearing any trousers. So if I get up and leave out of that door, you're all going to see my pants. So, but no, the point is I do, I do want to review Undertale. I just probably wouldn't put as much work into it as I do a normal like like a review of this for example is all I'm saying I would just make it a more straightforward review whereas this one's going to be quite complex obviously I've got lots of ideas I want to steal this nailed it okay oh I need to read the books don't I I think I picked up a book earlier I didn't read it oh wait no books don't work that way in this game shit (laughs) that was a magazine and magazines only give you temporary buffs I'm getting confused okay Hello. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. I didn't do it for fun. I'm not a fucking psychopath. I'm a normal person. I didn't kill your dog. I never played Undertale. I just think it's cool and Toriel is sexy. Finally, a take we can all agree with. Uh, yeah, books do increase your skill, but it, it's a book. That was a magazine. Books increase your skill. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It's been a while since I played this. I'm going to need. I'm going to help Ringo take on the powder gang. Pow, powder gangers, not the power gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. As long as it's not for fun. Return to Ringo and let. Him. Oh, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> that was easy. Even though Joe Cobb's dead. His friends will come after the town eventually. Yeah, that's not good. However, it? between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a Seems stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Great. Talk to them as well. Let's get all of that. Finally, about. there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. And that's what I really like about this, is different people will help you depending on your skills, and you can convince them if you have certain skills, and, and it affects the battle that you're about to have. And it's like a microcosm of the entire game, because that's going to continue at a larger scale, and that's the whole point of this game. Your skills and your levels are important, and will affect the way that people behave around you, and the things that you can do in quests, and it's, it's actually utilized very well in this game. Fallout 3 did it, but not nearly as much as this, and Fallout 4 fairly uh, gave up on that as an idea, and I feel like that was a shame. So that's why I like this one the most, because it utilizes the skills, I think, the most. You know? Okay, any ideas on how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. You mean like a speech skill? Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. <laughs> so maybe talk to her last, because then you can tell her that you've got certain things. It's all just so fucking great. My brother is here as well. Hi, Steven. <laughs> I wish my family wouldn't watch this. It makes me feel really <laughs> out of sorts. <laughs> Unless it's a different Stephen Hamlin. Uh, right. Would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. See, now I'm going to go quiet because my, my family are watching me. Stephen, you've ruined, you've, ruined my, um, you've ruined my stream. I don't know if you're still there, but the stream's ruined. Steven, your brother doesn't have any pants on. I'm wearing pants, just not any trousers. <laughs> Don't worry, up. I've got the, your entire extended family and your ancestors watching the stream. Hamlin, last name looks familiar. Right. How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Do you think maybe I need a dynamite high skill of it? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives. This is me trying to do a mustache thing, by the way. I don't know if that's clear. <laughs> Family friendly stream now. Yes, I can't say any swear words except shit and fuck and ass. Those are okay, but not the big ones. I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work. Right, let's go. Let's go convince some people. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go. 
So I was thinking about talking to Trudy last so that we can convince her we have a good plan. I imagine if I talk to her first, she's not going to be very impressed. Hi, Trudy. Let me put my gun away. There we go. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think A lot of right. people are saying I look like Astarion, Ast Ast who I think I know who he is because he's obviously the one that everyone posts the most pictures of. He must be one of the better characters in Baldur's Gate. But I don't know who that is. Oh, it's so close. So, sneak. I could probably take a see. This might. I guess sneak is what Sh um, Sunny was saying. If I could convince I had a good plan, would be if I had a good sneak, because we could surprise them and all that sort of stuff. But if I've got speech, I can just convince her using um, my speech skill. I think. Now, do these change? This is something that each bomber guy spoke a lot about. That these change once you because this is just like a bad argument but if i leave and put some points into we can actually see the effect on both of these now and speech perfect there we go can i get lock pick up to 25 oh it's so close i can't lock pick without okay well, <laughs> well for now um yeah i think i need 25 so i'd need 25 in explosives to convince easy pete so let's just do the one Let's convince her using sneak, because that seems like the best way of doing it. And then we'll go explosive so we can get... Well, I've... <laughs> Let's go with that, because I can up upgrade lockpick later. Uh, we'll do repair and speech. There we go. Okay. I never really understood this perk. This is a really bad perk to get. I do sneak 24 and lock 25. Don't you worry about me. I can, I, I know, I'm, you know, this is my stream. You're telling me what to do. Ali, Aileen. <laughs> you can try again when you fail and yeah, exactly. it's all fine. I, I, well, I'll just do the lock pick after we've had the battle. I'll probably level up again. So this is a very strange perk because there's a level cap in this game. So you don't want to rush to the level cap. You waste, you just waste the perk here, I'm pretty sure. Bonuses by skill magazines last three times as long. That's pretty good. All the reloads. That's pretty good. Sorry, I'll put my phone down. Um, I'm a big fan of just increasing special skills because I'm a bad person. In combat, you do 10% against female outside of combat. Let's do with that. See, it's difficult in this. If Generally, I think it's better to get the male version of this because there are just more male people in this game, if I'm correct. But I may have just, I may just be being sexist. That may just be... <laughs> um, but in... That may not be true. Maybe I'm just imagining it. I just assume that you'd be meeting lots. Like all of the powder gangers are men is kind of where I'm coming from with that. But maybe that's not true. Um, well, let's do this anyway. Unique options when dealing with the same sex. Cool. Great. <laughs> it's better to get both. That's a weird sound. You probably can't hear it. Right. I hope you didn't just bring a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like that. We just spoke. His friends might come looking for him, and I don't think they're going to care who was involved in his death or not. Well, what's done is done. So, uh, what can I do for you? Okay, so... Oh, I thought I didn't put my speech up high enough. What? what? Anyway. Near the saloon and the store... Yeah, I see. Okay, so when you... I know that you all know this, but this is just for my own knowledge. So when you upgrade, I'm going to put my phone down, so I keep meddling with it. When you upgrade to a certain point, it changes your dialogue options to be better arguments. Isn't that great? Isn't it great? What a great feature. Maybe Bethesda should have put this in all their games. <laughs> Near the saloon, I guess that would be That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. The vault suit gives Let you plus two speech. Thanks, Crystal. I'll see if I can round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Crystal. Well, everyone does own a Thank gun. Thank you. We can stand to be a little better equipped. A general store probably has what we need in stock. Great. And we're formulating a little plan. We're like the A team. There's nothing really to go with that. To go. <laughs> Great, 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 great. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland. I don't think now's really the time. I did ask her all of this, but obviously I reloaded the game. And what do you think you're doing? Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Right. 
An A bomb, A team, eh? The Hoover's nailed it. <laughs> Give me your explosives. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I want your explosives. Hey, you've got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Want to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Emma is away at the moment, and I was sleeping alone last night in my bed. <laughs> and whenever she's away, I have nightmares, because I'm not used to being alone in the house. I know that's really sad, but it's true. <laughs> And so I put on podcasts to help me sleep, and I was listening to a Let's Play of Beneath the Steel Sky, and I put it in my ears. I usually go to sleep listening to Let's Plays, and I hadn't listened to this one before. And I had a nightmare that I was set on fire in the street, and <laughs> and it was really horrible. And then I woke up, and the <gasps> I was really stressed out. And I was like, oh my God, what is going on? And in my headphones, in the Let's Play, the Let's Player's fire alarm went off. And he was like, don't worry, I just let it run itself out. There's no fire, it's just a bit confused at the minute. So he let it run on for a few minutes and I woke up while the sound of his fire alarm was going off in my ears. And it was horrible. So, cool story, bro. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives, dynamite included. I wish I knew what he said when I wasn't. Just for the sake of... Just so I can get as much information as possible before I... Uh, I just want to talk to him. I know this is quite boring, I apologize. Just want to talk to him. What's really great about old games is they load really fast. It really makes me extremely happy. When I, used, I used to play this on the Xbox, and it really was a fucking nightmare. How hard can it be just like that throw? Great. It's <laughs> so it's usually like a little joke, and I appreciate that. So let's try that again. Like, if I was playing on the Xbox 360, that would take about, like, two or three minutes. Um, and it was a real problem. In this game especially, there was lots of areas where there's just, like, a room that you enter. Loading, loading, loading. Enter room, grab something. Loading, loading, loading. Exit room. And it really held this game back. I feel like it being on PC, or at least on a more advanced PC than the time, really improves the quality of this game. I'm familiar with the herring handling. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Shrimp says, what computer are you running? Up is not jump. I'm running an AMD i5 equivalent. I don't know what it is. Um, processor. And I think I've got a 2080 Ti graphics card, uh, NVIDIA. But I'm not entirely sure <laughs> if that's true. But that's... Yeah, it's not the 3000 series. It's like a late 2000 series Ti graphics card. So it's pretty cool. I can't show you because I'm not wearing any trousers. You might see my... My bare thighs. Uh, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? I don't know if this is... We know they're at the strip, so it's fine. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him... Oh, we've had this We've out. had this conversation. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted. I'm going to go get... <laughs> I'm going to go get some water, so I'm going to point this at the ceiling. I hope there's nothing... There's no, like... Something racy at the ceiling that you're not supposed to see. There is. Look at that chandelier. You're still going to be able to see my pants, aren't you? I could put my trousers on, actually, while I do this. Here's my trousers, just so you can all see. Da, 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 da. So yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm going to go over here. <laughs> so wait there. I'm just getting some water. I'm sure you can handle yourselves while I'm not here. These are my trousers. I'm going to put them on. I mean, I can try and show you my kit, though. Do you want to see? I'm going to show you Luna while I'm up. Luna! This is as, this is as close as I can get. The, the, the camera can't go any closer than this. This end of the stream, I'll wake her up so that you can, and I'll bring her to the camera. And she'll, she, she kicks with her back legs when I pick her up, so you can all watch that happen. All right, you wait here. I'll be one sec.
Freddy was waiting outside the, the door, so you can say hello to to not. This isn't Sid. Just so we're all clear, <laughs> this is a different cat. He's really good. He lets me hold him with one arm. I just walk around like this with him. And we just go for walks. He's very, very chill about being picked up. It's amazing. <laughs> All right, I'll leave you with the cats. They're both in here now. I saw that. What are you doing? I can't believe we've all been doing that while I've been gone. Is this a good angle for the stream? Oh, spam this cat. <laughs> I can't bring you Sid. I don't think any of you will want that. Okay, so you can all... <laughs> here's a, here's a, here is a very funny thing <laughs> so when the story this i'm laughing the story obviously the, the 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 next words are very sad is after sid duck oh my jesus christ maybe that was him his ghost getting revenge after sid very sadly passed away oh god now i'm making myself sad why don't <laughs> see I, if i be positive it makes me look like a monster if i be serious it's gonna make me cry um <laughs> um after Sid passed away, we got a picture of him made, which maybe I'll show you at some point. It's downstairs. I've just gone back, though. I probably shouldn't leave again. Uh, it's like a sketch of him that we've hung on the wall. And Emma, you are all going to think... I think the first half of this is quite weird, but then the second half, I'm not so sure, but everyone says it's fucking weird. Um, no, that's not how you spell Sid, I'm afraid. <laughs> um... What was I saying? Um, so we had his ashes and we put a little pouch of his ashes behind the sketch that we had made of him. Now, people who know that won't even go near the picture and they think it's really, really weird. Do you guys think that that is weird? He, and he, he died about over a year ago now, so it was quite a long time ago. Is it weird to put your cat's ashes behind a sketch of it? Uh, everyone I've told is like, what? <laughs> we're, we're exploring everything to do in Good Springs. I'm a very, I play games really slowly. Thank you, number one pickle. I love you too. 
cool. People seem to think it's normal. Our friends that we've told think that we're utterly psychotic. But because like when we got the picture done, we wanted it to be in the frame. So we gave the picture to the framers. And Emma was like, okay, in my backpack, I have the ashes of my cat. Can we give them to you to put in as it frames, to frame it when you frame it? And then the woman, whoever said this to, like, was like, she, instead of being like, no, no, sorry, I don't feel comfortable handling your cat's ashes. She completely freaked out and like took a step back and was like, what? You, I can't, you can't ask us to do that. And Emma was like, well, it's fine. They're just some cat, it's just a part of our cat's ashes. You can put them in the frame. And she's like, no. <laughs> I'm on the fence about that. Well, that probably is a bit weird for that poor woman, but I thought it was quite funny at the end. <laughs> anyway, so what do you know about Joe Cobb? We've already—I think we've already done this whole conversation. I had trouble. Welcome. I can't remember if we spoke. Yeah, we've already spoken about this. You're a prospector. Da da da. Ba, da, da. Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them, whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. And here's the magical balance of the game. We have the NCR and the Legion, and they all have their goods and bads. The Legion is obviously mostly bad, but I think the... The argument you can do about the Legion is... Kaisar is basically effectively saying what the NCR are trying to do is what the world was like before all this, and this is what got us into that mess. And, you, you know, it's not a great argument, but it, it also, if you argued it to in a very specific way, you could convince people that that makes sense. He's not just, like, insane, which I think, you know, a lot of people mention. I don't know, says, I don't think it's weird. I'm getting a necklace for my dog's ashes. Also love the content. My buddy from England raves about you and show me your stuff. Thank you so much. I agree it's not weird. I think it's I think it's pretty normal. I think it's, what I'm saying is I think my friend's reaction to it is quite funny because they're also horrified. <laughs> uh, tell me about the Legion. They're slavers led by a guy named Caesar. Or, or, or Caesar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. Great. We've been hearing stories about Legionary. Great, great, great. So it's quite nice. Again, I like this whole area. I know it is a bit slow. I've been playing this for ages. I play games quite slowly. Um, but it feels like when you leave Good Springs, you've basically got a feeling for the whole game. You understand the NCR and the Legion and the battle between them. You also kind of get a good section of opinions from different people, you know, about what they think of both sides. You get, like, a range of political views here. Although everyone hates the Legion, generally. Um, but, and you also understand that the skills are going to be a big part of the game and what levels you put into which are very important. So it's really cool. I just really like this. I think it's all really good. Super Dam is power. The big corners are used meat. for the higher meat. Find a bun Anything about Victor? The machine. Harmless. No matter what Trudy says, she thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. All right, I think we're good then. Did we ever get his explosives? I think we did, didn't we? <laughs> I'm playing way too slowly. I don't have any fucking explosives. Oh, well, he, I think he gives them to me once we start the, the, <laughs> the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Another problem with me, uh, like a problem with me streaming, is that people can see that I'm incompetent at video games, and, and that's that just makes <laughs> that makes people not want to trust my opinions. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just very bad at talking and playing at the same time. Right, medical supplies. Doc, we need medicine. Your character's a woman, but so Legion is a no-no. Nah, we're the Dragonborn. No, let us go. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. I need drugs. What can I do for you? Ketamine. I hear that's legal in the U.S. <laughs> I'm hurt. I need your help. I don't need any fucking help. I need some medical supplies. Sure. Oh, that was easy. Oh, he wants me to buy them. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I want you to give them to me. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. I'm just going to put this on my forehead. never leave each other alone. <sighs> oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. I don't want you to fight. And give me your drugs. Are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Cool. 
So interestingly enough, we don't need to convince Doc Mitch of anything. He will just give you the supplies regardless. Are we in agreement? This game is better than Star Shit. This game is better than all shit. <laughs> Uh, tell me about yourself. Well, I already told you. I Great. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out. Great. I found that. Great. Eventually, I went back. Great. You said you had something. I imagine this is not something he's going to want to talk about. Well, ain't we all right? That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. Great. What town is this? I guess these are the questions I could have asked him before. Cool. Thank you. Uh, you can see I'm just developing a nice film of sweat. Let me get forward a bit. <laughs> Role playing as a pacifist doctor in New Vegas has been a really interesting challenge. Oh gosh, yeah. I wanna. I just wanna play this game forever. I had this kind of uh, idea of basically, where's, where's Trudy going? Oh my God. Yes, this whole stream we're gonna be in Good, good Springs, I'm afraid, because uh, um, this is how I play. I just like to fuck around as much as possible. Where's she going? She's going home. <laughs> Find out where she lives. Hello. Oh, I'm not. I'm just picking corn. Picking corn. Look at me picking corn. Picking corn. Ah! Howdy. What a what a what a dynamic conversation that was. If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. Careful. Uh, I was gonna say something, and I have a fucking clue what I was talking about. Cal detected me. I'm not a creep. You're a creep. Uh, and and kind of, this is kind of where I keep saying with this, like the the move that Bethesda have made towards like, ooh, because huh. if I wanted to now, if I wanted to now, if I wanted to, if you wanted to, if you guys wanted to, I'm not going to do it. Wanted to kill Trudy in her sleep and spread her body parts all over the house like some sort of mad killer. You could do that, and I feel like that was basically the entire draw of these games. Like, that's what I just thought people did. Like, look, look at this. This is fucking great. I'm fucking, I'm fucking crazy. And it just feels like these games have moved away from that a bit. And I just think it's a shame because it is definitely my favorite part. And then I can move into this woman's house. I can like put my stuff on. Uh, like I can take this this squirrel stew and I can just pop it on the side. And then this is my. Ooh, I'm pressing the wrong button. This is my squirrel stew now. I own this. I own this squirrel stew. Let's just try and. Oh yeah. You see that, Trudy? That's my squirrel stew. I live here now. Feeling thirsty? <laughs> I can take care of that. I've got squirrel stew. I don't need no drink. Goodbye. And if you and if you are really good, if you can get her in one go, then the town don't even know. I don't see that happening because I've not got a very good AP. Uh, oh, I did it. I got away with it. And now I have an, a permanent home residence. Uh oh, there was already someone here. Oh no, I forgot there was someone else here. I can do this. This is fine. No, it's fine. I can do this. There we go. Now everything's okay. I doubt anyone heard that. I think I got away with it. Who is this person? I haven't seen them before. This must be her wife or something. There you go. See, they fell asleep. They fell asleep and they didn't wake up again. She fell asleep watching TV. Would a TV even work? I suppose this one doesn't work. <laughs> there you go. Look at this. Normal. Look at the blood on the window. <laughs> That's just a really intriguing photo or photograph. <laughs> uh, tell her roommate. <laughs> no, I think that I assume these people were married. Is that so mad to believe? It's just because they don't have a specific name. So it just makes you think that they're just like a random. It's like Trudy's come into someone else's house. I think I got away with it. What am I doing? What was I doing in the first place? Yes, I'm assuming, I mean, 
I would have um, spread their body parts all over the house, but I don't have any blades. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've only exclusively killed female characters, so I want to kind of, I want to balance things a bit and not chop their bodies up just yet. Do you know I dissect women? I'm utterly insane. Okay. Um, I don't know. It says, I've got to ask, can you say hi to my buddies, James and Keith? Of course, James, Keith. Your buddy Grim hopes they're doing well. Also, we simp for Dean Domino in this chat. <laughs> that woman had a cleaver. No killer corn muffin. I can't become a killer corn muffin. I'll keep an eye out for the. Have you seen Trudy anywhere? She was supposed to do something as part of the quest. I convinced her that we had a good plan. I guess that meant she was going to send more villagers to help. Um, I'm just going to keep saving things. <laughs> I don't. I can't can't keep track of what I'm doing. I think we're done. I think that's everything done. We can just actually start the, the game. Convince Chet to open his stock reserves to the town. Okay, that's the last thing. Trudy death is now canon. Oh yeah, Trudy is, is da -da 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 dead. I think to balance things out, I need to kill this guy. Wake up! Get up! You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. That's me. The way I heard it. I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps. I feel like I'm me. very bright if over here in this corner. Caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great. Gotcha. Don't know what you just said. We didn't listen to a word of it. Uh, tell me about your mods and special ammo. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow-point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier. Cool. Um, see, what I really like about these games, which doesn't happen in the other Bethesda games either, is it's quite difficult to acquire a silenced gun early on in these games. I know it's possible in Fallout 3 and this quite easily, but... If you don't know what you're doing, it, you're either lucky or you just don't get one. Um, because they're quite overpowered because you can sneak around in people's houses, like shooting people in the head, and you can just become like a silent but deadly person. And they try and give you that later on in the game. Um, and this is what I was saying is really cool about this one. is You can get a silence Andy. pistol quite early on, but they're really expensive. Here, I'm going to look like an idiot if this isn't true. And so to get one is quite... You'd have to... Weapons, here we go. No, nope, never mind. It's not expensive at all. Fuck knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's not going in the review. I'll take your shovel, though. I was sure it was like a super duper duper expensive thing. Maybe it's the mods. Because is this gun not very? Good? I have to. I have to reclaim my my six. Because this does six. Is it a mod? I'm not going to read the chat for a while because I don't want them to call me an idiot. <laughs> What was I even talking about? What's oh, ammo? <laughs> Why did I get this idea from? I'm so confused. Where's where's mods is in misc? Yeah, well, I don't I don't I don't see nothing in here. There's different kinds of ammo. Oh, I see. Right here we go. Okay, the mods are really expensive. I got you. So stuff like this, but you wouldn't get this till later on in the game. And that's kind of where they're coming from with this. He's only, he only seems to have one mod. Oh, there's that. Cool. A rifle scope. Eh. Eh. This is just vanilla. Uh, Fallout. Great. Never mind. Thanks. Still fine. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder. This isn't a democracy, chat. My name's Chad, and I'm here to tell you, chat. Oh, I can't do this. The town's at stake. That has to be worth more than a few supplies. Nah. My bar is shit. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. I mean, Chet's a smart man. I think he's definitely taking the right uh, approach here. <laughs> I'm not getting involved with this. This again? What? Cool, you can ask again. Right. What makes this up plus ammo there? It's just cheap, isn't it? It's all about quantity over quality. Uh. The trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Yeah, so it will lower the degradation or increase the degradation rate. 
If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk. I was just though. about to say. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. So you see a nice, we've got a nice range of approaches towards this. So I think they're all very believable. You know, Chet is the, um, the Ferengi of this situation. I'm afraid it's going to be so hard not to liken every single aspect of this game to Deep Space Nine because it fits so well, but no one will know what I'm talking about and no one will watch the video. <laughs> Do you know anything about the people who attacked me? Do you? The leader was a new Vegas type. Great. The great cons normally stay in their own. Great. Let's go. A lot of help, a lot of help he was. Thank you, Lone Ronin. That's very kind of you. Okay, so I'm just going to spin for a bit. I think I think we're done. I feel a bit bad about killing Trudy, but I, I, I can't keep reloading the save. We have to get on with things. Return, return to Ringo and let him know that Sunny smiles. Help. Yep. See, I enlisted the help of Trudy, but I don't think she, I think she gets the town to help. I'm not sure. I would watch a two-hour video essay comparing the entire game to a show that I've never seen. Well, while I've got you all here, I can't talk about this in my new video because I've already done two videos about Star Trek and the second one bombed hardcore, baby. <laughs> and, I, and I'm going to take that as a message of to not talk too much about Star Trek. Um, I liken... Oh, let's, 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 get, let's do this quest first before I talk about it because we're never going to get anywhere. I should have put some extra points into lockpick because I bet I'm super duper 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 close because of the outfit I'm wearing. It's lockpick. Oh, never mind. I'm not even right. Wake up! Wake up! I was so, so looking forward to the DS9 on. video. I just don't think it's going to happen. It bombed way too hard, the, the Voyager video. It did alright. I mean, it's got like, it's nearing 300,000 views. But the first one got like 700,000, and to see a drop like that, I'm like, okay, that's enough Star Trek. I don't think people want anymore. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. I can't convince Ringo, your Ringo, I can't convince Chet any further because I need to level up more. So let's just deal with it. Stay here for now. I'll see if there's anything I can do with it. Let's just save this first. What's the plan? Are we ready? We're ready. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Yeah, we. <laughs> She's sorry. Ready. Hot time. Did you just go back to sleep? Time to look alive. He just wait. The powder just... gangers are here to play. He just went to bed. Oh, oh, sorry. How? Where's Trudy and the rest? <laughs> they're getting set up in. <laughs> no, they're not. Go well unless we get out there soon. <laughs> How many are there? At least six. <laughs> they look pretty mean. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. Well, yeah, it's funny you're saying that. Store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. God, this game is great. I'm just having such a good time. I really wish I could open this. Do I have, like, a book that will allow me to open it? I don't imagine I do. I've got a weapon repair kit. I'm sure there is. Wait, didn't I find a book on here that I didn't read? Boxing times. Well, that's not going to help in this fight, is it? Because... I mean, maybe halfway through the fight, if I run out of ammo, I can read that and start punching. <laughs> a shame. I feel Move Along Home would have been an excellent addition to the Star Trek Nightmare lineup. A la Marine. Exactly. For those who haven't seen Star Trek Deep Space Nine, it is the greatest TV program of all time. And you should all watch it. And then when every single one of my million subscribers has watched it, I'll do a video on it and it'll be the most watched video on my channel. So get on it. Come on, people. God, we, I feel like we should definitely think of a formation better than this. Is that them? No, okay, that's the town. I guess Trudy, I guess the town has turned up because I convinced Trudy, like this guy's here, but Trudy herself is obviously not going to turn up for various reasons. Let's dynamite that mother. Ah! <laughs> Ugh. Oh, that, was, that wasn't a good throw. Come on! I don't feel like I've hit anyone yet. There we go, nailed it. Oh, he died just before I blew him up. 
I think we did it. Ringo, we did it. Oh, there's more. Oh, <laughs> I feel like my... My, <laughs> my um, contribution is all a bit too late. I'm, I'm definitely uh, finishing off some bodies, though. Oh my god, I've upset the powder gangers. How do they even know? They're all dead. You see that? You see that? I got that guy. I feel like I didn't achieve... I don't think I was of any help. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically my friends part. and caravan <laughs> funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry. Huge favor, huh? I've got nine huge favors for you. Is that is that a joke for scans? I don't usually do dirty jokes on my channel because I feel like I can do better than that. I'm not very funny when it comes to being off the cuff. <laughs> it's all very highly scripted. There we go. So killing Trudy didn't really affect things too badly. Howdy. What You're the hell? Dead. I like how Ringo turns on me immediately. <laughs> don't hit that <laughs> that <laughs> that nondescript man. Do you like vanilla ice cream? I do. I feel like I go through stages with ice cream. Sometimes I really like it, and then I'll go months without eating it. And I won't even want to eat it. It's one of those things. Okay, let's see how cool we can make ourselves look. How did even you know this was this guy's hat? There's definitely not a lot of simple shotgun. Ooh. One thing about me is I love a shotgun in a video game. It's usually my weapon of choice. Chocolate chip ice cream, mint chocolate chip ice cream. I'm, I'm mint chocolate chip, I'm afraid. That's my favorite. How are we looking? Now, I'm disguised as a member of the faction because I'm wearing their clothes, but I don't think that's going to trick all my new friends in Prim. Not Prim. Good we Springs. Need more people like you around. What, me? But I'm a powder ganger. I don't know how to change the camera. There I am. Look at me. I've got a baseball bat. I'm unstoppable. Look at me spin. I don't even move my feet when I turn. Doesn't that freak you out? Aren't you worried about me? Doesn't that worry you? I've got you now. <laughs> oh, I've done it one too many, one too many times. <laughs> it's not a fool, right? This is this is not this is not what we're doing. This is not a vibe. Is this the beginning of the game? This is the very beginning of the game. I've been playing for several hours now, and I haven't gone anywhere. Oh, have I lost my hat? Oh wait, no, he had the hat. Right, let me move forward a bit. Sorry. Oh. There we go. I can sit back while still being young. Are we enjoying the cat? Is the cat relaxing you all? It looks like I'm carrying it now. Cookie dough is the best. Ah, cookie dough is a bit sweet for me. Too much sugar. Is Fallout New Vegas a nightmare? No, I don't think I'm going to be able to, in all good conscience, say that Fallout New Vegas is a nightmare. I'll have to say not. Um, the video for this will be coming out mid-November, so I hope you're all excited. <laughs> You've been playing for two hours. <laughs> I just play really slowly. People fucking storm through video games. This is why, like, fucking Tears of the Kingdom came out, and then a week later everyone's like, oh, I'm playing Baldur's Gate now, and then a week later everyone's playing Starfield. And it really bugs me. Leg the Legend of Zelda is like a hundred hour game. You're supposed to fucking, you know, play it. Howdy. it. This doesn't really bug me that much. I just find it a bit annoying that I'm so slow compared to everyone else. <laughs> Oop, I just picked up an empty bowl. Right, I'm going to just clear out the school. I know there's a quest you can get for clearing out the school. But it doesn't seem to be. Inquiry about yours. Now, okay, chat. Who knows all? What is, who gives me the quest to clear out the school? Is anyone um, able to reveal me this information? At this point in my playthrough, I would already be in Vegas. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck all of you. <laughs> Do you know who the men were that attacked me? So Can't say if, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to just skim this. I'm losing in town. Anyway. Great. Okay. Gotcha. Easy, easy Pete? I don't know about that. Starfield video won't be until this. The review for this video is going to come out in November because I'm going to be working on it for quite a long time and making it sexy as fuck. I have a secret video. Is this a folder game? 
<laughs> I don't know. It says, is this a Baldur's Gate 3D make? It does look a bit like that's, that might be the case. Um, oh, he's gone. Uh, let's wait till the morning. I don't know what I was talking about. I, I can't remember anymore. Like, I'm talking in circles. Oh, he kicked away this. Oh, yes. New strat. See, this is why I'm not in Vegas, because I'm doing this. Ooh, nice hat. Oh. Right. Let's talk to Powder Ganger. Hello. That ought to keep things settled. He doesn't give me the quest for the schools, you lying shit. It seems like the chat all agrees with the lone Waste. Ronin that Starfield is a bit underwhelming. It lacks the charm and depth I tend to expect from Bethesda's work. Not bad, not great. I think that's... Thank you, Batman Pop 00. <laughs> I'm going to give Starfield a good long while to work out what I think of it. But yeah, like I say, I just finished a nightmare video. I have a whole new nightmare video finished and ready to release, but it's not coming out until uh, mid-November. And oddly enough, ha 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 ha, for secret reasons, the review of this game will be coming out in mid-November as well. I've found... All right, let's just explore. I'm just going to get some, some stuff from this place to level up a bit. Oh, we could use our bat. Why the fuck not? Save some bullets. Um, I... Hi! <laughs> Who thought some fucking small bugs would be able to take on a baseball bat? You're all fucked! This is fucking... Um, I'm, I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Uh, so, I've already... F so, I'm this the, the re Fallout New Vegas review is going to be kind of an, like an analog review or a, a parallel review to the Fallout 3 review I made. Um, in which Luna is going to be a major character, like Sid is a major character. She's going to be involved in the narrative of the video, just like Sid kidnapped me. It's going to be a similar sort of narrative with Luna, where she's a big part of the, the story. Um, it should be really cool. I've already got it all planned. I haven't written it, but I know exactly what's going to happen. We have a location where we're going to film, because obviously when we filmed Fallout 3, we filmed it in like an underground bunker or an underground... Um, so we were in like an underground sewer or something that Emma found. So you basically, it was just like a built a collapsed building and we went underground. Um, and it was just like an old thing. Very expensive, I imagine, for what it was, which is hilarious. Because they're like, it's amazing that you can just take basically a shithole and be like, oh, it's a filming location. That'll be a thousand pounds a day. <laughs> Thank you, Dolphin69. Um um, we're doing the same thing. So what we found is, I won't tell you what it's called, although if I think even giving you the basic, is it what I'm looking for? Giving you the basic information and you'll be able to find it. It is a, wait a minute. Yeah, I can't use that, but I can use the computer. Here we go. Here goes through the, the arduous task of me hacking a computer. I hate doing this. It's, it is an immersive theater location. So say you want to take all of your friends to a Wild West bar, effectively. Um, I just do this. Um, I'm just gonna t <laughs> you want to take all your friends to a Wild West bar, this is where you would go. Um, and so there's a bar. It's all Wild West themed. There's a bar. There's like a miniature town that they've built in the area where it looks like you're in a Wild West town. There's loads of like cool set pieces and stuff because it's supposed to just be like where you get drunk with all your friends. I need to do this properly. Um, and that's where I'm going to film. There'll be a bar in the back shot with loads of like glass bottles and moonshine and stuff. Um, and I've booked it out for the whole day, um, which they were very happy about, I can tell you, because usually people would only book for like four hours in the evening. This is getting a bit silly. <laughs> Just ignore this. Book out for a few hours in the evening, but I'm going to book it for the whole day. So they're fucking thrilled because usually it's just empty during the day. So it's going to be really cool. And it'll be re and last time when I filmed the Fallout Three video, I did it on my own. This time, my cinematographer is coming, and he's amazing. He's gonna be the whole day, so we're gonna get some really cool shots. It's gonna look awesome, and it's gonna go with this review. So it'll be really fun. Right? Worried? I don't like doing this. I don't think it's that. W O R R. I think it might be this. Oh God, it didn't work. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Right, one sec, just because we'll... Wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there, wait there. Did that do it? Oh, no, 
it's still locked. Oh, fuck. No, power. Turn it off. No. All right, well, one more go while we're here. Yay! <laughs> what a delight. I'm just using the mouse and keyboard. Spacey Jake, I gave up on the next generation around season two of your video game. I can binge the whole series, and now it's one of my favorite all-time shows. Yeah, don't watch season one and two of the next generation. I'd love more Star Trek videos. Your format is really entertaining. Thank you, Spacey Jake. I'd like to do more as well, but I have to follow my nose, unfortunately. And I don't think people want any more Star Trek. Um, but who knows? Maybe a day will come. I think, I think, honestly, I think the day will come where it stops being cool to be a YouTuber. I really wouldn't be surprised if that happened. And by that I mean just like, I don't know, just fuck YouTube and we all just become, I, I'm surprised that this doesn't happen more often where I just make a video and say, hi everyone, fuck YouTube. I don't use their platform anymore. I'm just putting all of my videos on, oh, there was a programmer's thing there, which I didn't need. So it's fine. I'm now putting all of my videos onto Patreon. If you pay $2, maybe $5, um, you can watch the video or like a pay per service and it's just like five dollars per video or something like that um, I'm not saying I'm going to do this this is not what I'm saying I don't have any plans to do this either um, but I just mean like if just f everything would fall out of YouTube just like the, the abuse that they put their users through everyone just gets fed up and stops using it and everyone just goes private and you just have a few this again this is not something I'm planning but you just have a few thousand people paying a couple of dollars per video, and then you've got a living, and it's fine. That's all you really need. I feel like YouTubers feel like they need to have millions and millions of views, and it's just not necessary. So it may get antiquated, but um, that's just sort of like a, a thought that I have. I'm not actually saying that that will happen. You get what I mean. I'm not explaining it very well because I'm focusing on this game. <laughs> YouTubers become private. They become private producers of videos and don't just put them on a public platform. Um, you know, a little bit like OnlyFans. <laughs> I'll what I'm trying to say is buy pictures of my feet, for the love of God. So a lot of people are asking about Starfield as an absolute nightmare. I think I forgot about that. I am going to do it, I'm pretty sure, it will just be after this, and unfortunately, this is going to be quite a long. <laughs> I've I've already um, committed in several ways that you won't. I'm not able to tell you, but I've committed several to several things that involve this game and this review. Uh, I picked a really bad time. I picked when Baldur's Gate three and Starfield came out, but it just means that you'll get those next year. <laughs> I plan on doing both next year. Um, I don't think me delaying the release a couple of months will affect me like it affects other YouTubers. You know, like people were really upset that they couldn't get Starfield codes in the UK. Right, I just want to make sure I'm going to the right place. Oh, we can go to the Powder Gangers place. They don't like me, let's go there. Because I spoke to because I spoke to Joe Cobb, he told me where they were. So let's go fucking get them. Finally, outside of good brings finally progress. I don't know about that. I think we're making good progress. Let's just finish. Oh, I've got my baseball bat. So, we want to go to Prim. So, let's just keep. So, I'm trying to get my bearings. Okay, so I've come down this road. Let's see if there's anything up in the mountains before we go down. Again, I'm going to be playing very slowly. Uh, yeah, so I picked a really bad time to force myself into a review of this game. But I think you'll be happy. There's a lot in the works. I think you'll be interested by... Um, what I have going on. Doesn't look like there's anything up here. Oh yeah, so a lot of people like were freaking out that they couldn't get review codes from Bethesda, so they could only like do let's plays or release videos much later than when it came out. Um, oh, look at this. Ooh, flowers. Now, this was definitely worth uh, navigating off the road for. Just trying to get my bearings, so Obviously, New Vegas is there. Yeah, over there. But you can't really go that way without getting killed by Cazadors. We can sort of investigate that briefly if you'd like. There will be strats to do this. Maybe, like, if you just, like, make a sneak character or maybe super-duper high, like, explosives. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I love this. I just love doing this. I love being this person. 
Look at me. I'm exploring. What even is it? Is it a collapsed... Uh, is it a bus that fell out? Or does someone live down there? Oh, it just, it just makes me so warm and fuzzy inside. Oh, uh, my character is like a... I'm basically just high perception, high intellect. I've not really picked anything super specific. I don't tend to roleplay like that. I sort of roleplay once I start. And my baseball bat's going to be good. I didn't pick a melee build, but I've got my baseball bat. What is this? What is this place? I don't remember ever seeing this. I feel so fucking great. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? What is this? There's a, there's a thing. There's some shotgun down there. Don't ruin it, Marlon. Fuck me. Give the people some, some suspense. <laughs> there's anger ammo for everything. His, okay, so this is another thing that I really think holds together, holds this game really well together. It's the, the what around the sunset star sarsaparilla caps is really intriguing. Like, there's like a special area that, you, you know, it's like a door that you can open when you get a lot of them. So what it allows them to do is to create lots of places like this that don't have a lot to see, but they always put a little cap in. So you're always like, oh, yeah, I got another cap. That's really cool. It's just a really minor thing that adds a lot to the exploration in this game. Um, so it means that, and they add a lot of story sections in this, but it allows them to add little sections that don't have story in because they can just pop in a little sunset sarsaparilla cap and everyone loves it. I may be biased. I really like this game. Okay, there you go. There's a really amazing weapon down there. Keep looking. What? <laughs> I was just about to leave. <laughs> I don't believe you. I've been tricked. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have to look very carefully in the bushes. I never look that carefully. I move quite quickly when it comes to exploring areas, apparently, compared to most people. Because no one's going to... I'm being lied to. There's no weapon down here. Careful not to jizzle over the game too much in the review. I'm afraid that it's going to be a very positive review. There's no weapon down here. <laughs> what? Why does everyone want me to move so quickly? <laughs> Just what, you want to get as much of this game as you can. I don't see any weapons. I think I might have been trolled. Right, let's keep moving. I would agree that from this point, the game actually does become quite boring. Um, I think that Prim is quite a bad location uh, to put immediately in. I think what happened, this is what happened to me, is Fallout New Vegas came out and I walked in while my friend was playing and I was like, oh my God, a sequel to Fallout 3, how is it? And he was like, eh, and he's in Prim. Uh, it's not that good. It's, you know, it's a bit boring. And I was like, ah, and so I didn't play it. Um, I just, okay. It's Yahtzee's Memorial. All right, so we're just exploring kind of the, the, we can't go much more north than this without getting into a lot of trouble. Prim is dope. Well, I mean, you're all entitled to your stupid opinions. Fuck off. Look at this game. Look at this strat. I'm going to kill this without even getting touched once. Oh, bring it. <laughs> this is the power of being a not an, a, a melee weapon build. It still seems to work perfectly fine. You should try a door randomizer. Your friend was a fool. Prim is fine because of Prim Slim. Well, I'm with you there. Prim Slim is like a huge build up. I just think that it's just a very sort of... Ooh, here we go. It's just very... It's very flat, very grey. You, you walk on a very flat, grey area to get there. I think it's just something big should have happened, I think, after this. I think maybe... I feel like... I don't think it's a problem. I'm not saying this is a problem because I love this game. It's fine. It just it was something that stopped me from getting into it earlier. Um, maybe if they'd put what happens to... That town. I can't remember what it's called. The one with the Legion R. You know what I mean maybe put that where Prim is and it could have, I think it would have made a huge difference to how many people played this game just through word of mouth. Because it would have been like, oh shit, the Legion, fuck. I think narratively the way they introduce it is fine. They don't want to bring them in too quickly. You want to hear about them first. But in terms of like um, a pacing uh, setup, I think it's just what slowed people's interest in this game. I think people got the wrong idea too quickly about it. It's not a problem for me though, because it's fine. Because I've, I've, because that was how I, and I think it worked really well. I was like, ah, this game's kind of lame. Ah, this game's pretty good. Oh my fucking god, this is the best game I've ever played. It's, you got to go through that. This is going, this thing is going to absolutely destroy me. <laughs> Stay away. 
Fuck off! Ah! Right, if I stay underneath it, it can't sting me. Yeah, this is a this is a losing battle. You get you get me? You get my drift? You get what I'm saying? You get my get my shit? Are you still involved with chemistry? No. Uh, how much longer on the stream? Uh, uh, well, I don't know. What time is it? I think my phone is out of power. Yeah, my phone's out of power, so I can't. Man, is it warm. What time is it, everyone? <laughs> in the UK? If you could let me know, I'd appreciate it. I don't keep clocks in the house because I, I live without knowing what time it is because I'm a perfectly normal person. Yeah, uh, uh, half an hour. I'm going to be playing till five and do three hours. Look at that. In three hours, I managed to get out of Good Springs. <laughs> this is why I limit the amount I play games to three days. It doesn't matter that I don't get anywhere. Oh, look at some dogs. I'm really sorry, Coyotes, but I have to kill you. You started this. Oh, I whacked him good. All right, let's get to Prim. I'll play for a little bit longer so that we can actually meet Prim Slim and do some of the Prim quests because I feel bad um, ending so soon. Would everyone say that this has been a successful stream? I don't mean in terms of quality. I mean, <laughs> I mean, no, I do mean that. <laughs> I find streaming difficult because I can't. Let me do an impression of a normal of of a streamer that I when either I bump into like people streaming. Right, we're gonna skip the correctional facility and go straight to prim. I'm gonna do an impression of what streamers when I try and get an idea of how to stream. They behave like this, right? You ready? This is very indicative of me. I can't handle silences very well. So here I am pretending to be a streamer as I see it. I'm not picking on anyone in particular. This is just what happens when I try and learn about how to stream. Right, go. There's a house. Gene skydiving. There's an enemy there. Better go in here first. Hmm. There's a, uh, hmm, yeah. Yep. Ah, uh, my lockpick's not high enough to go in there. That's a shame. Am I, I feel like just even now people are stopping to wa stop watching. <laughs> and here we go. Here's another example of sort of as you explore just to say there's not much here but don't worry we're gonna give you a little bottle cap as a reward although there is a key what the fuck does that open oh is it this <gasps> da -da -da -da. the only thing in the room <laughs> let's just take everything we got leather armor this is good i'm having so much fun i fucking love this game how do i look how do i look how do i look looking good i don't know how to actually look at myself here we go wait for it wait for it Wait for it. Look at those cheeks. <laughs> those are some fine cheeks. <laughs> Great. Gotcha. 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 Someone who now joins is going to immediately leave. That's my fear. I have to just keep talking. This is what I'm like in real life. I just don't shut up. And I feel extra pressure to just keep speaking when I'm streaming because I don't want to be boring. But it feels like, I mean, a lot of people just like put streaming on in the background. I don't think you would do that for this because I'm talking too much and I'm playing quite erratically. So maybe I'm not a good uh, normal streamer. Like that style maybe is what people want. Look, it's a person. I don't think I'm doing a very good job of... Oh, I've already been here. Who is this? Hello. How are you, friend? Hey. Hey. Fucking harmonica. You use that good. Uh, what are you doing? Hello, can you help me? What? what? Why do I have to ask you? You. <laughs> Very strange that he didn't just ask me for help when he saw me. Uh... It's the dipshit himself. What me or Baron Barton Thorn? My only critique is there not enough Deep Space Nine discussion. I, I really wanted to go down on that, but I, I didn't think it was a good idea. What's wrong? Sorry, I got my own problems. What's wrong, Barton Thorn? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge. You I lying piece of shit. Please, she's going to die. You bastard. Go up the path. 
Pass the broken radio tower and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. I love what an idiot this guy is. <laughs> Thank you, I don't know. I went my job paying attention instead of working. Don't work. I'm of the firm belief that 99% of all human uh, efforts are a waste of time. But he's drinking from the water. This is fucking adorable. He's even trying to climb in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this. This this is just this is just like this is an alternate universe where the geckos are actually just really friendly. Let me help you get in there. Oh, I, ignore that. I didn't I didn't do anything. Let me just help you get in. There you go. He's getting enough water now. He's trapped on the ridge with geckos. Where am I going? My <laughs> my girlfriend is trapped on the ridge with geckos. I am going the right way, right? To the radio tower. Oh, it's over here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I don't hear any. I was here earlier and I killed all those geckos, but maybe one sneaky gecko got away. Do you think this is like making fun of Fallout 3, the scene where you save what's his name's mother from the um, rad roaches and it's just really stupid because they're just bugs and this is like a, a riff on that. Oh, there is a gecko. Here we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, it's a baby one. Well, I can't kill a baby. I mean, Jesus Christ. I know I killed Trudy and her wife. Um, or flatmate. Or... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> well. I'm definitely fucking this up. <laughs> oh, my God. Never thought of that, says Matilda. Or... Oh. Mathilda. I'm not very good at reading names. I apologize. So keep going. I really wasn't paying attention to what he's saying. It's hard when you're streaming. You can't really. It's hard to play and read at the same time. All right. Let's do this. 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 What is that in the sky? <laughs> it's a bucket. Where are we doing? He wasn't wrong about the geckos. Ah. This baseball bat is OP as fuck. Come here, you little shit. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Where's this guy's girlfriend? It doesn't exist. Oh, now I have to fruitlessly decide what to put my points into. The anime here is where we forgive your inability to read. I think it was more my inability to listen to simple instructions. Keep going, okay. Bro thinks he's pyrocynical. <laughs> I'm far too sane to be parasitical. I say that with all love. Oh my god, there's more. I guess he's hoping that these will weaken me. Little does he know that I'm leveling up. <laughs> this one keeps blocking me. Okay, we need to, we need to we need to do some def desperately change tact. I've got loads of stuff. This looks like a good good time. Uh. <laughs> Shovel! Oh, here we go. Shotgun. Perfect. Oh, you are so far. Oh, it's not really high enough. Oh, it only shoots one at a time. Okay. <laughs> God, this game is so much fun. I missed. No! My, my gun condition is too low. Oh, yeah. <sighs> His girlfriend goes to a different school. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I just don't feel like this is right. I thought he just followed you up and then turned up again. Hey, is that him? Come on! It's just a child. There we go. Almost there. Thank you. I like how people are like just like leading me through these quests. I mean, at least in this case, they were coming right, Thoras. Ooh, I can level up now. Oh, my barter is seven. Jesus Christ. That's quite depressing. Okay, let's just go... Guns. Let's get lockpick up to a level where we can actually use things. Um, here we go. All right, here we go. We made it. We did the simplest of tasks. Oh, she's dead. Your wife? What happened to her? Or girlfriend, sorry. 
I love this model, but it's just some in some areas of the game and it's absolutely horrific compared to like other things. <laughs> like you've got like skulls, skeletons, like old people with clothes, and then you have this horrific model. <laughs> Girlfriend's friend is a girlfriend is gecko already dead. Cool. Oh no, it's a bear trap. Did he set this here? Am I supposed to go for this fridge? Maybe she's in the fridge. This is the worst completion of this quest anyone has ever done. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a card. What, the, what in the world are these? <laughs> I'm sorry. This guy, why is he sitting here with balls and a camera? Bowling balls, L ligma balls. <laughs> the red balls are a wild wasteland thing. Awesome, love it. Thank you for informing me of that. I'm a big fan. Oop. I think before I write my review, I'll have to read a page on wild wasteland. Sorry, you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're standing on this ridge, it must seem like an 18 karat runner back luck. Bad luck. Oh, I see. <laughs> the <g> Truth <laughs> is, the girlfriend was rigged from the start. Where the. Oh, there you are. Fucking hell. Hi. Sorry I tricked you. But thanks for clearing out the geckos. Right. Now I can get to that stash up there after I deal with you. I think I've already got the stash. I think where I'm getting confused is. I've done this quest before, and I thought you just walk up and then he turns up. So this is me misremembering. Why am I explaining this to you? We're all friends here. Dead, dead, dead. He's not even... That's not going to work. Found you. You like that? I shot you, I'm afraid. I mean, that must have really hurt. Damn. Must kill without getting hurt. No, should have used that. Oh, he's running. Cool. Come out of here. Oh, it's not going <laughs> to... I'm a sadist. I'm enjoying this way too much. Help. Don't run towards me. Oh, I missed. Oops. Oh, I keep missing your... F oh, I hit him. Need to go. Thanks for the stream. Glad you had a good time, Marlon. There will be more. I, w I won't be doing more than a... I won't ever do more, I don't think, than a couple of months. But I will. I think this is going to become a slightly more... It's just so I c it's an amount that I can commit to. I was like, oh, I'll stream every week. And it's just not, not in my bones. Um... But I do think that we'll be seeing me move towards at least, you know. I think, honestly, I would say, if I was being completely honest, like one every couple of months. And I'll just play like new games that are coming out and do sponsored streams. That's probably what I'll do. I think that'd be really cool. Like it would have been cool to do a sponsored stream with Starfield and then I would have had to have been really nice about it. And then that would have been really cool. But as you probably, oh my God, I'm so close to being dead. Uh, the UK... Bethesda team didn't talk much to British uh, people. I don't think anyone's really sure why. If you are, everyone's like insinuating that they did it on purpose. I just don't believe it. <laughs> My honest view on this sort of thing is that big companies are just really inefficient in the way that they run. And I feel like someone just made a mistake in the UK team. I, I There may be proof that I'm wrong, but I really do believe that you shouldn't equate anything to malice that you can to just like not stupidity but just like bad organization save i don't need to save what's this 76 body okay fallout 76 uh, i'm gonna get killed i need to hold my controller no i missed uh get away leave me alone Fucking put. This is much more um, satisfying. <laughs> there may be proof that I'm wrong, but I still believe differently. <laughs> what I mean is, there may be proof that I am. I mean, I don't think there'll be any proof. I need to fucking heal. What am I doing? I just don't believe that. that Anything that a big company does is ever entirely on purpose. Because I used to work for a big company and nothing was ever done because there were too many employees 
and it was just too much for the company to stay um, organized. Fuck off! Leave me alone! Die! I have so many children! I don't want to keep killing all these kids. Is where I'm coming from. So when, so I see it, where I'm coming from is like the Guardian wrote an article, article being like, Bethesda purposefully didn't send out UK codes to UK um, gamers, YouTubers, and uh, journalists. And I read that and I'm just like, I just, part of me just thinks that that might not be true. <laughs> Come here, you little shit. To be honest, I just don't trust anything I read in a newspaper, is more where I'm coming from. I read something in the paper and I, it makes me even less likely to believe that it's true. That makes me sound a bit weird. Not, to, like, to an extent, you know. <laughs> Part of the reason they didn't reach out to British influencers is that the overlap with British audiences and US influencers is huge, so it's easier only to deal with people in the US. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, because I'd say 60% of my audience are... Well, I'd say, factually, 60% um, of my audience are from the US. Possibly like 65. It's quite a large amount. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's just, <laughs> I don't remember there being this many fucking geckos in this fucking game. <laughs> Fuck off. Leave me alone. Sorry, I'm shouting into the mic. Oh, God, there's more. <laughs> I'm, I'm killing the entire child population of geckos. Oh, fuck. How would you rate Starfield? I haven't... I've only played, like, um... Uh... Like, five hours... I would currently give it maybe like a 5 out of 10. Um, but I have a feeling that it's going to get a lot better. Or I'm going to get into it. I'm just finding it really like... I think part of the problem is, is that they've done so many things. Like what I really, really, really like is finding a planet, landing on it, and walking around. I think that's really cool. And then like having random encounters happen would be really fun. Um, but it doesn't seem like that... I've tried it. I played for like an hour of just like landing in random places and walking around. A little bit like, you know, this game, how I'm playing it at the minute. But nothing happened. It was all just like empty buildings or like raiders and stuff. Look at this guy. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. And it's because there's so much else in the game that maybe they weren't able to make any particular part of it really, really exciting. But it's, this, is a very, this is a hot take and I don't really want to do any hot takes yet because it may get better or it may not the truth is if i wasn't a game if youtuber i would have played it for an hour and not played it and played Baldur's gate so my opinion is very difficult to give because i'm already just like forcing myself to play it for the purposes of writing a review as opposed to like this is a game that i wanted to play so i did if you know what i mean it's just a game that i have no interest in so my review on it is quite difficult to write because i'm like i don't i don't know I'm sort of forcing myself to have an opinion, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, right, what's going on in Prim, baby? Convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. I'd say six and sevens are mostly fair from my experience so far. I think so. The larger a company, this person I think has summed up what I was saying. The larger a company is, the more likely it, that someone assumes someone else is doing that thing, but they don't know who that person is or don't bother to ask because it's not their problem. That sums up exactly what my old job was like. <laughs> so just nothing got done. And it was, it was one of the, I think we were really lucky that, well, I'm really lucky that um, I worked for a big company that I did because I would leave, I was there for like a couple of years and I just had this like huge feeling that I could be as productive as the 10 people that were in my office. And that's not strictly true because that's insane, but I don't think I was far off. <laughs> because no one was doing anything. No one was fucking doing anything. It, it drove me insane. I was like, no one's working. Fuck, no, no one in this room is doing any work. It blew my mind how a company could work that way. It was awesome. It was pretty funny, to be honest. And so that was why I was like, I'm gonna start my own company and I'll just work hard and you know, <laughs> I'll be a department. Okay. Shouldn't you be protecting the town instead of chasing strangers? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. 
Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Yeah, so it's, Starfield seems a bit generic, so it's hard for me. It's, it's just like I'm playing with the only goal of formulating an opinion for a review. So it's not really like a real opinion, if that makes sense. That's how I feel about it. So it's hard. I did that with Cyberpunk. I, I started it, and then after a couple of hours, I was like, this isn't a game for me. But I had to play it because I wanted to review it. And then that kind of put me down like a weird path of like forcing myself to feel certain. I was like, do I actually feel this way? Or am I writing this because I'm just trying to review it? I don't know. It's hard to explain. Anyway, why can't you protect them? We don't Come on. The equipment to take oh, so I'm going to do it. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Okie dokie. Let's talk to Lieutenant Hayes. Fallout 3 was my first Fallout game, and I found it to be okay, but I didn't love it. New Vegas, however, was everything I wanted Fallout 3 to be. I really like both of them, to be perfectly honest. I don't know if I'm successfully doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Fallout 3 is one of my favorite games, and I really don't think that that came across very well in my Fallout 3 review. <laughs> I think it may have actually come across that I fucking hated it, but I really, really did not. Oops. It was just like, this This is a critique of a game that I like. I need to make that maybe clearer. I, I see myself sometimes as more of a critic than a reviewer, um, you know, like Yahtzee does. Um, so if you watch it, like, man, he hates this game. And it's like, no, it's really fun. I really like it. It's just I'm accentuating all of the bad points. I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3. I'll get there. Well, Starfield is getting in, and also Starfield is getting in the way of me playing Baldur's Gate 3, so I kind of resent it a little bit for that, because I know that there is no way that the writing is going to be as good as Baldur's Gate 3, so well, I'm judging it way more harshly. Be more <laughs> got business here? Come on, say it. When I got say it. We won't go quietly. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. I need to get a mod that makes them blow up when they say that. Game X is a nightmare. Yeah, not a critic. Sometimes I say nice things. I think maybe I just need to make it clearer that I like a game if I'm going to fucking tear it to shreds. The same thing happened with ah, the same thing happened with Fallout 76 where I was really nice about it and everyone was like, I can't believe you like this game. And I'm like, no, 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 this game sucks. I'm just being positive for the sake of an argument. But I don't know if I make that clear enough. <laughs> Hello, Lieutenant Hayes. I'm Lieutenant Hayes. I know that. I'm the Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's I've never reasons? eaten Pop-Tarts before, I'm afraid. Geiger not. Uh, if I were to pick a flavor, I would pick plain. <laughs> we were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could... This is me doing a wave like a tide of conflicts. That was convicts. That was entirely unscripted. Uh, right, what am I doing? What's the problem with your mission? Not enough supplies, not enough men, too many on the opposition. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. Convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. <laughs> Things are just going slow. I love how everyone is upset that I like playing Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Fallout 3 is pretty poorly written at times, I would argue. I think there are times where it's quite well written. I just really like the gameplay. I like the pacing. I like the setting. I like the tone. Um, but a lot of the time, the writing kind of falls short. But I think it's still a good game in spite of it. Whereas this game has all of that and has amazing writing. Tell me about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. Cool. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. All right, let me move a bit more quickly with this. Not much. They got organized. Thankfully, the small group... Cool. So, he didn't give me a quest or anything. I don't think talking to him... So, he's basically just saying that they haven't got the supplies to take prim back from the powder gangers travel to the canyon wreckage near prim and enter the divide all right we won't go quietly the legion yeah that's it 
we can count on. I don't know this kind of. I'm not sure if this is true. I don't know if this fully backs up like my argument that Prim. I don't think is a very good area. You know, this this part is a little unfocused. First time catching a stream. What's your favorite snack overall? Says Papa Labman. I like. I like gummy bears, plain pop tarts. <laughs> Tell him you don't like that viscous yet attractive sparkle in his eye. Saves my bacon every time. Who are we talking about? Me or the characters in the game? I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, Fifth Battalion, First Company. You want to talk about something? I was I was pretending I froze. I was thinking. Um, I really like to drink very high quality tequila and eat gummy bears. Uh, George Clooney's tequila Amigos is a very good tequila that's reasonably priced. Um, and I do that, and I eat uh, gummy bears, and I have a really great time, and you get really drunk. It's really fun. <laughs> Not that I don't do it though; it's bad for you. Alcohol is bad for you, especially if you're pregnant. Where are you from, Sergeant McGee? I'm from the Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. So the Hub is a reference to Fallout One and possibly Fallout Two, um, if I'm remembering correctly. And that's really nice little references, and it's cool because we're in the same area. The Hub is in like South. California, I believe, and we're obviously in the Nevada desert, so it makes sense he's from the hub. Just out of curiosity, what's your pregnant drunk stream when? <laughs> um, just out of curiosity, what's your taste in music like? It's exclusively the band Everything Everything, who I've seen live three times, and I'm still trying to... They've started touring in America, the shit cunts. Um, oh, excuse me, that's really bad language. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of Australian podcasts lately, and they say that word a lot. <laughs> Apologies. I try not to say that word on, on um, this channel. Excuse me. Um, I listen to everything, everything exclusively and would highly recommend them. Bloodborne is a nightmare. That's not off the cards. I would really like... It's, it's just... I need to find a way to make videos faster because I want to do more. I really would like to do two things. I'd like to finish the Fallout series and... Um, what I really want to do, just because I, between you and me, between you and me, I think this would make a lot of money, so that's why I'm really excited. I would like to collate all of my Fallout series into one video. I think it'd be just so cool. Like one, it would be like a three and a half hour, four hour video. And it, would be in, it wouldn't be in order of, my, of me reviewing the games, it would be in order of the game. So I do my Fallout 1 review, my Fallout 2 review, Fallout 3, the DLC, New Vegas, and then Fallout 76, Fallout VR, my other Fallout VR video, and so on. And then it would just be like 10 reviews back to back with a whole series in one video. And obviously I'd remaster it all and maybe change some things that needed changing. And it'd be like one four hour video. And I think it would do really well. I think everyone would watch it because um, long videos do really well on YouTube. And I just think it would be really cool. And I'd make loads of ad money because it's really long. I'm just, you know, I'm in it for the money. <laughs> Yes, the Fallout series is an absolute nightmare. Or every Fallout, yeah, the Fallout series is an absolute nightmare. That's a really good title. I was actually thinking about what to title it. I'm supposed to be getting shot. This whole town has been taken over by people and no one seems to be doing anything. So this is the deputy's office. Do you like wine gum? It's my personal favorite British snack. I don't tend to like gummies that are soft, if you know what I mean. I'm not scared about stealing things. Um, that's why I like gummy bears, because they're hard. Wine gums are okay. Look, this is not bad karma. I'm, I'm, this is, I'm using deputy's weapons to save the deputy himself, so I don't see what the problem is. So the deputy of Prim has been kidnapped, and I'm going to free him so that he can bring law back to the town. I always run around on the roller coaster track here. Ah, a man of class, said Esmersky, as do I. So I've been to this town. There's a roller coaster in real life. I don't think it runs, and it's a little bit disappointing. <laughs> I don't know if it ever ran. I imagine it probably did. Ooh, something just blew up. Oh my god! Oh, her head blew up as I came in, I think. Oh, the, sorry, the deputy has been kidnapped. The sheriff is, is definitely dead. Up is not jump. Have you heard of Lackadaisy? I'm afraid not. That's uh, new, new to me. Have you seen the Skyrim Together mod? Nope. <laughs> 
what you all have to understand is I don't spend a lot of time on the internet. Um, so I'm a little bit out of touch. When it comes to gummies like Harry Bill Go Bears, I feel like they are hard without being too hard. Finally, someone understands understands me. They're a really good level of hard. I don't think I've ever used a reloading bench in my entire life in this game. It's just not something... If you just explore everywhere, you end up with enough ammo for everything, in my experience. As I'm doing. You see, I explore every little corner of this game very carefully. So that was the sheriff's office. Jesus, you think the sheriff could get a better office? Fucking hell. Ah, I'm being killed! I don't know where this is coming from. My perception isn't good enough. Oh, right. there they are. I should have... Should have, um... I might stealth boy this. I might run, come back, and stealth boy it if I can. A good level of hard. Run, 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 run. I think if I can get away and come back with a stealth boy and my baseball bat, that'll be fun. Nope, not working yet. I draw it out to the... I don't know if they'll be dumb enough to come out here and get shot by the NCR. Guys! Guys, it's the people in the town. They're leaving. They're leaving their positions. Quick! Oh my word. What, what happened to you? No wonder you're not reacting. You're... Ah, we're being under attack! Come on, do something! He's there! <laughs> he's fucking, he's fucking... Come on. Come on. Do something. He's throwing grenades. <laughs> this is fucking stupid, man. <laughs> ah! This is the sort of thing that I would hate Starfield for, but adore this game for it. It's very unfair. Ooh, nuts. That'll help me. Definitely need to. All right, let me get involved. I just wanted i wanted to help his, like, um, his uh, confidence by getting him to kill one of them, but it, this doesn't seem to be working. I really hope Starfield can win you over. I don't doubt that it can. I, that's why I'm reserving judgment. I don't think it's a bad game. I wouldn't say that. I haven't played enough of it. Uh, it clicked for me after role-playing enough. Went empath and unlocked precognition. Pre so I'm a, just a psychotic space himbo with a gold. I really find reading very hard. Plus, my ship is dope. <laughs> I might, yeah, I think it might be fun to just become a pirate. Come on, Sergeant McGee. We can do this. Just help me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sergeant McGee. Where, where are you going? <laughs> Come on. I'm trying to mobilize you. Fine. I'll do this. Yeah, become a sandwich hunter. That sounds like fun. Look. Fucking hell. Look. It's easy. Just shoot them in the head. I've never done this before. It seems to be working quite well. I'm just going to make a note of something. Oh, my phone's out of power. Uh, one sec. <laughs> one second. I'm just going to make a note of something. Uh, I'm just going to go to my Google Drive and create a document to write something down. My word, is it warm? Okay, work. Writing something down. Gotcha. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Sorry, I just need to open the stream so I can see things. Glorious. Gotcha. Right, oh wait, no, we can hear me talking. We don't want that. There we go. I feel like I have to be sparkling. Oh my god, that was easy. I feel like I have to be sparkling at all times because you never know when a, someone really interesting might join the stream and they will join and I'm just being like, like typing things off stream. Right, I'm hidden now. So what we're going to do, 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 what we're going to do is I definitely need to try and actually get some health pack. There we go. Is I'd like to go all stealthy and sneak up on people and hit them with my bat, but I'm just worried that... Um, the stealth boy isn't going to last long enough, and I'm just going to waste one. 
but I think we can run while the stealth boy's on and, and then attack people. So let's go for it. I never use these. I I just I hate like using items in games. I just end up hoarding them all to the end and then not using any of them. Okay. I don't know. Says whatever my Brit buddies. Whenever my Brit buddies talk about pound currency, I ask them if they can use real money terms, not monopoly money terms. They get very angry with me. <laughs> Should I use NCR dollars permanently in real life? If I, I have this vague feeling that actually I've killed everyone anyway. I need to just get on the roller coaster. Finish them off. I don't think you can get on on this part, can you? Here we go. I think I've done it. I've helped sort out the town. I don't think this... Uh, Stealth boy was at all necessary. I can't get up there because it's fallen, or can I? Yes, 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 yes. Strats. Hmm. And again, this is this is you know, we talk about Prim being not the most exciting area in the game. <laughs> it's just one long empty. I'm invisible, you stupid bastard. Nice and close. Okay, that was a waste of a stealth boy. You know, I do. I just feel like this is like a... I'm not saying this is a bad quest. It doesn't bother me. I'm just saying for newcomers who may have heard that Fallout New Vegas isn't as exciting as Fallout 3 um, might extrapolate that this game's not that good from this area. They'll be like, ah, yeah, this isn't for me. This is a bit slow. I disagree. Just so we're all clear. I don't want to be... <laughs> my feet! I'm not going to... <laughs> oh, well, that didn't work. Alright, so. Let's just get a rifle. Alright, baby. Let's get that last one. Oh, he's really high up. <laughs> Look at that right arm. That 24%. It haunts me in my dreams. Just don't think I can... <laughs> what the hell am I doing? <laughs> oh, I can go in there through that door. All right, we can do this. Just keep saving. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. I've got to crouch, as the chat told me. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Where's he gone? Come on. Oh, yes. He's going up higher. He's riding the roller coaster. Oh, I got him. With a keyboard and mouse, this would be a lot easier. He's getting the high ground. Is that him? Is that him? Is that him? I don't think it is. Come back, you bastard. He's so close. I don't know if that's him or not. Or is he think he's dead? Also crouched. It looks so much like him, but I don't know if it is him. But just keep firing. <laughs> I guess it's not him. All right, well, we'll come back to him later. Bethesda have been making mediocre games for years at this point. I don't understand why everyone is so surprised suddenly. I think it's just all the hype. Ah! Ah, we'll see. I still have a feeling. Come on. Wait, where does this work? His health has gone up. Oh my god. Alright, let's, 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 let's try this again. Let's try this again. Let's see a bit more sneaky this time. Oh, danger. Uh. Like that? Oh, I really didn't do the best job of that. I should have. Watch this strat. Yeah, look at that. Ah! You like that? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Try this again. Like no, it hurts. Natural. Okay. Can I leave and come back? I want to. I want to be. I want to be stealthy. I want to do a bit of stealth. 
I think it's because of that fucker. I need to kill him first. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> Come on. Hidden. All right, here we go. Sneaky back in. I think I will... I think Fallout 4 is, like, good. I think Fallout New Vegas is great. I think Fallout 3 is great. But I do think Fallout 4 is a, quite a substantial drop from Fallout 3, is my review. But I, st I don't say it was bad. If there's one thing you can say, it's that they try. I'm going to do it again. I, n I never use these. I think it's fun to give it a go. Right. Shovel 16. What does the most in one hit? 11. God, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> no. Come on. Maybe I'm just jumpy. Maybe you are, bitch. <laughs> For fuck's sake, this is so embarrassing. I. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> Shut the door. In the corner. Who's there? It's a ransom note. Uh, what time is it, everyone? I feel like I I might stop soon. <laughs> Pitster Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash and unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. See a bit of fun, bit of little uh, storytelling in the in in un unrelated areas, which is good fun, right? I'm gonna fucking get a fucking hit on fucking someone. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hit him if he's looking at me. Oh, what a fool! He's so mine. It's 5.08. Thank you. I should probably stop soon. I think a three and a half hour stream. Or a three hour stream. Oh, yes. <laughs> I did it. I, God. Oh, I'm sitting down. This is me, the ultimate, like, shame. He's taking his chair after I kill him. I love how Turbo gives you Turbo in this game. <laughs> turbo gives you plus one Turbo. Ah! Oh, you're not going to be able to beat me. I've got a bat. What was that? No, more people coming. Have to finish this soon before he arrives. Come here. Uh, there's more. How is he still alive? He's in the hallway where they went off. Oh my god, they're everywhere. My cat's here. I think on that, I think that's a good. That's woken up Luna. Uh, I think it's that's a good time to call it. <laughs> Nailed it. Are you using a stealth boy and prim? I do what I want. Thanks very much. <laughs> right, we're gonna call it there. It's too hot. It's too fucking damn hot. <sighs> fucking hell. Oh my god. Yeah, let's get some of that cold air on me. Oh, the, the window's closed though, so we're just blowing hot and cold air around the room through the AC. So, we're going to call... <laughs> That's the point of being on. It's not doing anything. So, let's... Uh, let me get the cats, and you can say goodbye to them. <laughs> Freddy, where are you? Freddy! Oh, he's there. He's behind my computer. Hello, are you gonna? It's just on the desk. Oh my god, oh my god, he just jumped into my arms. Oh. Look, it's the internet. Are you gonna say something? Ah, an intellectual. He looks like he's. <laughs> he looks like he's got stage fright. So this is Freddy. It's... He looks a bit like Sid, but he's got a white. Can't quite see. He's got like a little white spot on his chest. He's very docile. There's very little you can do to upset him. He's like a, he's, yeah, he's like he's lying down on my lap now, even though I just grabbed him out of the air. Um, he's like a little, he's, he's a lap cat by design. <sighs> Thankfully, I'm wearing my trousers again. There he is. You can't quite see him because he's also black. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. There he is. 
see his little wet spot. <laughs> and Luna, I feel bad waking her up. Oh, she, you know, he's very, very easy to manipulate. He doesn't really mind, really mind anything. Talking to Tarek right now, even though I'm holding him like this. Hello, you okay? Don't bite me on camera. It will make, oh, you can't hear what I'm saying. Sorry, the microphone's nowhere near me. So there we go. Sorry, I forgot that the microphone wasn't near me while I was talking. Uh, look, at, look at my hair. Jesus Christ. I hope you had a nice time. I will see you in a while. I'll see you in a month or two when I stream again and see you in November when I release the review for this game. It's going to be fucking great. I've got it all planned out in my head already. We've got a really good location where we're filming uh, already booked and it's going to be great. I'm going to do a cover of I'm going to do a cover of Big Iron while also holding Big Irons. I'm going to film on a really nice set. Luna's going to be a major character. It's going to be great. So uh, see you then. Review Starfield. I'm going to review Starfield next year. You're, you're, um, by the time my review of Starfield would be done, which is about eight weeks from now, because that's how long it takes, my New Vegas review will be out, and you'll be much happier that I did that, because I have not that much interesting to say about Starfield yet. So I'll see you later. I hope you all had a nice stream. I don't know how to end the stream. How, how do I end the stream? <laughs> oh, end stream. Do I end now? Is that everything? Do I have anything else to do? Bye. <laughs>